Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Well, it looks like... <laughs> everybody, you know, let me know, let me know if, if it does, if the stream does, like, freeze up or anything. It looks like everything's working like it should. So that's, that's good news, I guess. I think that's good news. So, anyway, good morning, everybody. Hallis, Icicle, Anora. Merry day after Christmas. Good morning. Happy Boxing Day for those who celebrate it. It is Boxing Day. Get all your boxing done. <laughs> Get all your boxing done. It is Boxing Day today. Um, But good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to do a little streaming this morning. We're going to get a little long dark under our belt. We're also going to play a little bit of the infected later uh, later this morning. And then I'm going to get out and do some driving this afternoon. So that'll be fun for me. Uh, we're going to be back on our new run. This is our vitamin C uh, is bad run. We're, uh, we are in Timberwolf Mountain right now. And we are headed towards um, Ash Canyon here very soon. Today, I, I would love to see if I could bring down a bear today and get a bear hide curing in here. That would be fantastic news if we could. But it looks first like... Oh, we built... We made another bow, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, so we're going to use our crappy bow for the moment. Not hungry. I haven't made it far in any game mode to see how the vitamin C th thing affects uh, affects me yet. Yeah, well, I've I have not really I have not really checked it out in detail myself. So, good morning, dudes. How's it going? Let's see if we can. Get this wolf over here. Yeah, I'd just like to kind of get this wolf off the ice. There we go. Good morning, Kenneth. Hello, hello. Well, as long as as long as restream will hold up, we'll be on YouTube. Really? Yeah, as long as restream will hold up, we'll be over here. So, I don't know what was happening. I think Saturday may have just been like a really busy day on the two on on YouTube and Twitch because we were just having major issues on those days. Uh, it was just lagging all over the place. Wow, he did he did damage my clothing a little bit. Eh, not too bad. But happy holidays. Hello, good morning to everybody. Can't feel my feet. Good morning, good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you all had a great uh, Christmas. Long, Mr. Bear. He's very slow. Before he actually charges, he's kind of slow. I mean, we love him, even though he's a little slow. But I'm very, ba I'm very glad to be back on YouTube, Kenneth, for sure. Maybe I should get a fire started in here real quick. Nah, I'll just wait. I may or may not get him, so. Oh. 
There we go. Woo! Got him. Well, it only took five. Only took five arrows. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think I think Kenneth, that's probably what it was. Because yeah, we were getting horrible, horrible. I finally had to. I finally had to switch out of using restream and directly stream everything right from Twitch. Or right over to Twitch. I had to I had to go right like direct into Twitch with everything, so I played recently and it, my bedroll disappeared from my inventory. What? That doesn't sound good. Alright, there we go. Oh no, Black Man PL, that sucks. I were you able to reload and get it back? I like just kind of quit out, reload the game. I I would have, <laughs> I would have just quit, reloaded the game, and been like, nope, we're uh, we're uh, definitely gonna just get that get that bedroll back. I I've not encountered that at all. No. Too late for a reload. Oh no! Oh look at his mouth. He's like, no, Athenon killed me. Athenon killed me. It's not fair. Life is not fair. All right. So what we're going to do is where are you? Where are you? There we go. It's tr it's Trevois time, boys and girls. Just fit right in the Trevois. And Trevois, we will go. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. It's like, oh, you don't want to cook the bear out in the ice where you could just die? Oh, well, just bring your bear over to a hut. Use the Trevois, it's perfect. That's like the bet. That's like I think that's the best. My favorite thing about the Trevois is we can just we can utilize it to do that. Let's carry a bear or a moose, just the entire thing with us. Open the bear in half with the lightsaber and do a tauntaun on him. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Tauntaun the heck out of that sucker. And we really can't bring it up all the way, unfortunately. Cause yeah, right there's where where it stops being stops being okay for us. But that's okay. Let's go back and grab a torch. Oh wow, there's cedar right here. Hold on a second. Do I have enough fuel? Let's see what our fuel situation looks like. Oh, actually, you know what we should do? Well, we have this here. Let's grab the hide. And the guts out. Too heavy. Drop those and the hide here. So there's our first bear hide. The begin the beginning of a bear skin coat. Let's grab a couple of those. One more cedar. I thought I heard something creeping around over there. <clears throat> but maybe I didn't. Huh. Could have sworn I heard like a wolf or something.
Take a few torches here. There we go. I'll grab those cattails in a moment. What I think I can do is I think I can light a fire. Like right in here. I can put one down. Oh, I can't put one down. That sucks. I put it right there. I'd love to get these couple of cedars here. That would be fantastic. That'd give me like six cedar, which is which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Oh, really? Seriously? I need to drop something. You need to you need to drop the attitude and light me a fire, sir. That's what you need to do. Tell you will. There we go. Perfect. Yum, yum. Let's get some water in us. Yay. Okay, perfect. Let's uh let's make a little water here too. Why not? make like a liter of water while we while we uh while we cut down another cedar limb there we go oh there's another cedar limb over there i don't think we can reach that one though i don't think we can reach that one uh do i have anything i can make up any more okay i could prepare a mushroom <clears throat> let's do that real quick Let's prepare two mushrooms. Too much stuff to carry. Shh. It's okay, Will. We'll we'll make it through, buddy. We will make it through, my man. It's gonna be just fine. Perfect. I can't feel my hands. Oh, it'd be great if we could keep this lit all the way. Chariots of fire time, baby. Run with the torch. Run, run. There we go. All right, awesome. Awesome. Okay. There we are. Let's get a fire started in here. And then we'll get some meat. We'll start cooking it up. We can't eat the bear meat right now because we don't have cooking five. But at least we can cook it. And get the cooking skill ups from it. I don't think we'll get cooking five off of just Turned this bear, well. but we'll get pretty darn close. Kitty, hello, hello, how are you? Okay, so. I see how quick those are going down in quality just because they were in the Trevois. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say you say that all the time, my friend. Let's ha let's actually get a little food to eat first. We actually have deer meat we can eat, so we'll eat that up now. Well, that wasn't a big piece. That's not a big piece either. Good and big enough though. How much water do I have? I got four liters. We could have a little bit more though. What's the plan for today? Well, we're gonna we just got this bear killed here, so we're gonna process the bear. And then we're gonna be heading to Ash Canyon for the rest of the time. So Ash Canyon after this, but yeah, hopefully we'll get up to the gold mine. I'm, I'd love to get to the gold mine today. But Mr. Bear made himself a very juicy target. And so we could not pass him up.
and then later today, uh, in about three hours, we're going to play ourselves a little bit more of The Infected. We'll be doing a little bit of more of The Infected later on today. The Long Dark this morning, The Infected this afternoon. And then I'm going to stream, I'm actually going to stream tomorrow. We're going to do a little bit of the, uh, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of Icarus tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Uh, by the way, I found the moose you told me about. The satchel's coming right up. Awesome. That is very cool. Well, gr good job and congratulations on getting a satchel. All this gear is slowing me down. Yes, it is. But no, that's real. That's really good news. Yeah, the moose. The moose is always uh, the moose is always very elusive in this game. It's always it's always nice to find one and be able to actually do something about him. Could have made him carry it to and from the lake to the hut. I know exactly, Hallis. Like, hey, dude, I used the Trevois. We did it as we did it as efficiently as we possibly could. So stop, stop your whining. We did we did as good a job as we could, making it easy on him. But he did he still didn't want to listen, Hallis. He still he just will just. I think he feels better. I think he feels better when he can complain about things. There's that and that. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to keep harvesting and cooking while we can. We still have, I think, what, two? Weigh me down. No, we got three more bags. We got three more bags of meat. That's nuts. That is nuts. There's so much meat on this bear. I think I think it was like 30, 33 kilos, something like that. So pretty good sized bear. It looks like I was. It looks like I just stabbed my my character. He like he stabbed himself with a knife. Like that doesn't seem very safe. Bear, bear got fat eating the previous versions of Will and Astrid. Exactly, Hallis. Exactly. And by the way, for everybody coming in, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas yesterday. I hope you're having a good. If you're in a certain, if you're in certain areas, I hope you're having a great Boxing Day today. Get that boxing going on. I know it's not that kind of boxing. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just joshing with you. Ooh, it is getting cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Feels like a lot of gear. Close that door. <laughs> yeah, we're spending most of the night doing this, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll get a we'll get a little rest in tonight. Hey Mike, how you doing? What's up, my friend? I hope I hope you had a good uh, good Christmas yesterday, and I uh, hope you're having a great day today. Hope you all are enjoying your holiday break, no matter what. And uh, yeah, we got a new year coming up. Thank you for the follow there, uh, Fenner. Appreciate the follow, my friend. A 
Let's get a little sleep here. We got a little time left on the fire, so we'll cook up what we can. The door doesn't really help anything. I just like I just feel safer with it being closed. Nice thing is we can sleep for an hour, let that meat cook, and then we can, you know, get up and uh, the the fire the the meat won't be burned or nothing. So we only have 29 minutes left on that now. Wonder if Will's dreaming of a white Christmas. I don't think he is. No. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think I don't think Will's dreaming of a white Christmas. Just a wild shot in the dark there, but some gear. he's probably dreaming of a non-white Christmas. I live in Turkey. Oh, nice! I'm a diehard uh, F F F Fener 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 Bosch fan. I, ta I I take it that is that is a that is a long dark fan. Well, welcome in. Happy holidays. Welcome in from Turkey. Hope you're having a great day. Let's just sleep like nine hours. It'll be it'll be middle of the day, but I don't care. I don't care. Oh, we got we got a little cabin fever coming on. That's fine though. That is okie dokie. Oh, it's football. It's a football. Okay, football. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that was football. <laughs> hey, that one guy with a very long name that no one likes because his name is so long. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> King, I'm sorry. I don't speak English well, so I don't understand. Hey, don't worry about it, man. We're 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 glad to have you here. Good to have you here, Fenner. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. I don't speak good Turkish, so I don't speak any Turkish. Break down break down most of these torches here. Is that really a storm going on outside? Eh, we don't have cabin fever too bad. That's dance. It's dance fever, Hollis. It's not cabin fever. It's dance fever, baby. All right, those are cured. So let's throw those in there. Right now. Grab that. That out. Oh, it's actually nice outside. Okay, so, so. Hey, corn dog! Just subscribe. Thank you so much for the sub there, corn dog the Hoosier. Just subscribe. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it very much, my man. Welcome to the Af Pack officially. All right, let's go ahead and make up a simple arrow. And happy holidays, corn dog. Okay, so the weather the weather stopped getting rough. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's take uh, let's oh take a my. few arrow shafts. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! My my! Oh my! My my! Oh my! I can drop those. I can drop that, and drop that. It's it's sad when when. Wool toques are not that important anymore. It, it make it does make me a little sad. I, I'm not gonna lie. When wool toques just aren't as important as they used to be. Okay, so we have a little bit of fuel. Let's throw some sticks in here. Let's grab a couple more pieces of coal, and I'm gonna throw one cedar in there. 
See if there's anything else we want to leave behind. I'm going to grab more cattails out there. I got my food. I throw the stones in there. I don't need those right now. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of cloth here. Because we'll grab more cloth when we get to Ash Canyon. Which is where we're heading right now, boys and girls. I got the deer hides. I got that. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, two aviator hats. Exactly. It, it's kind of sad because it's like, oh. Okay, well, I guess I don't really... I guess I don't really need the wool toques. Because I found two aviator hats. Where's our cooking at? Oh, our cooking is well into there. Okay, perfect. By the time we get back here, we'll be able to cook that up and eat it. Let's eat all the way to being full. There we go. Let's get our crappy bow out. We have a crappy bow and we have a good bow. So we're going to use our crappy bow right now. We're going to go grab some kitty cats out here. Now we, now we just have to watch for wolves sneaking up on us. Those darn sneaky wolves. Actually, do I need to grab the cattails here? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave these cattails here because we can always get these on our way back. I'll get the rose hip. But yeah, I'm going to leave the cattails. There will be more cattails in Ash Canyon. Ash Canyon will have many more cattails for us. We just got to get outside and spend a little time out here. What time of day is it? Okay, it's getting late. It's getting late at night. Cindy, hello. Merry Christmas, Cindy. I hope you guys had a good one. Hope, and, hope, you, hope everybody in your families, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. And I hope that you continue to have a wonderful holiday week. It's a, it's a holiday week this week, see? We got New Year's coming up. It's like a holiday week, which is so much fun. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, pal. And thank you, Alice, for the posture check there. All right, so the bear's cave's right over here. I think, I'm pretty sure. Or no, did I go past it? I went past it, yep. I went past the bear's cave. It's easy to get turned around in the fog here. This goes down into Echo Canyon, which we do want to go down into. But there's a couple, there's something I want to check first. I want to go over here to the bear's cave and I want to go above the bear's cave and since we killed the bear we get to claim his cave as our own he no longer holds any sway over us yes I, I did get the foster check he holds no sway over us any longer so and then we'll go up here and I think we'll try to get to the uh We'll try to get to the uh, uh, Echo Echo Peak East, I think it is. I think that's where it is. It's Echo Peak East. Let's grab a few sticks along the way, though. Sticks never hurt anybody. You got kidney stones for Christmas. Oh, no. That's not a good Christmas gift. I'm sorry to hear that, the one guy. That's the crappiest Christmas gift ever. I can, can you return them? Did they come with a gift receipt? That's the most important thing. Because if you got a gift receipt, you might be able to take them back. But without one, yeah, you're kind of screwed. You're stuck with them, I guess. Sometimes there'll be stuff up on these little these little Echo Peak East and West places. 
a little bit of wood. Not not much else. Yeah, Nam Foodle, kidney stones are not no they are no joke. They are the one of the worst things you can get. I think I th I think they're the one the one of the worst sort of non-lethal things that both men and women can get because they hurt like crazy from what I've heard. We are not meant to have solids coming out of a place that's only for liquids. <laughs> Sol solids coming out of places that are only for liquids is never a good never a good thing. Never ever a good thing. But I hope you get well soon, my friend. Are they going to have to do that that thing where they go in and they they like use ultrasound ultrasonics to like dis disintegrate it or whatever? Are they going to have to do that, or can they do that? Oh, look at all look at all the sticks. Just look at all the sticks. No wolves here. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, that was lucky with the ducky. Okay, I was like, I, I was like, there's no wolves over here. What are you talking about? Is the sharp burrs on the sides that give tiny tube, give the tube tiny cuts on the way? Oh, I didn't need to know that. I didn't need to know that. You should have left me with my. You should have left me with my illusion. I did not need to know that. That sounds absolutely horrible. We gotta shatter him with a laser. It hurts so bad I thought I was dying. Oh yeah. I've heard it's one of those things where even though you aren't dying, it feel it it, it makes you want to just go, please just let it all end. The hubby showed you magnified on the TV. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't need. I don't need to know that. <laughs> I don't want to know that. That sounds horrible. <clears throat> hey, me from Florida. Hello, hello. They look like stone burrs. Yikes. Aren't they just, aren't kidney stones, aren't they made of, is it, cal is it calcium that they're made of? I can't remember now. Ooh, I hear some, I hear some, uh, I hear some ptarmigans. They're calcium, okay. Gotta be patient, gotta wait for him to stop. Oh, that guy ran. Got him on the fly, though. Woo! We got three of them, that's enough to make a... That's enough to make a ptarmigan bedroll. I can barely walk with this much gear. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. They are so hard. They are so hard to get. After level 5 bow skill, you can crouch and get them, but before level 5, it is such a pain in the butt to get those guys. All right, let's let's get their meat, cook it up. Let's see. Can I make a can I make a fire back here? I think I can. Yeah, I think I, yes, I can. Oh my goodness. What a what a spot for a fire. What a spot for a fire, man. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Hey Lucas, how you doing? I don't know. I don't know if this fire could get blown out. I don't know. It might be able to. It might be able to. Lucky, you never have to be sorry about a ducky hug. They're fun at all times. They're fun for the whole family, to be honest. That did it. When will I be trying Miss Survival? I'll be actually. I would. I'll actually be playing some Miss Survival on Mondays. Uh, yesterday, of course, was the was the holiday, so I didn't get any Miss Survival time in. Uh, but I will be actually starting up a new run on Miss Survival on Mondays. Um, because I've I've been wanting I've been wanting to do some Miss Survival for a little while. Um, because they had a big they had a big update come out for Miss Survival. And uh, I will be I will be uh, uh, returning to that on Monday. This week this week is just a little bit off because of course with the holiday it made everything everything got shifted a little bit so But yes, I'm quite looking forward to getting back into some Miss Survival. I watched uh, I watched another streamer playing some of it, and I was like, "Ooh, that looks fun again." It looks fun to give it a shot. The cool thing about Miss Survival is that it's just done by one dude, which is kind of neat. I wonder if you can lay down a bedroll here too. You can. Look at that. That's interesting. Okay. Let's make a little broth. That knife seen better days. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I got. I got to. I got to sharpen my knife up at some point. It's not in horrible shape, but I do need to sharpen it up at some point. I'm just gonna use my hands. Hey, Laka. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I think we might as well make some broth. Yeah, if you can get a snow shelter in here. I don't think... I don't think a snow shelter will fit old fart just on the basis that that I could barely put the bedroll down in here and to put a snow shelter down would be yeah there's there's no way a snow shelter is going down in here <laughs> no way at all it's a great idea though oh, I can make broth in both of them interesting Can you get the feathers without using a tool? Yes, you well, you can't until you harvest the animal with a tool. So like everything else, you have to you have to harvest it first with a tool and then you can go ahead and Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to actually cook some broth. Oh, do I not have enough ptarmigan for it? Or do I not have enough water for it? Oh, I don't have enough water for it. Okay. But yeah, you first have to break it open just like anything else, Hallis, even though the feathers technically you'd think, oh well I can harvest them without. You have you have to have something to harvest them with first, so. Which kinda sucks to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, Lockup, my holiday was really nice. Went out to my mom's, had some great food and company and family, and we opened up gifts and all sorts of good stuff. It was it was loads and loads of fun. We had a, a very good time had by all, so. And then I'm going to drink down one of my broths. You just get way more, uh, way more, uh, uh, water, or way more food from it, from the broth. Now I do not have any more ptarmigan to, uh, do broth with, so. We will just do this. Grand Laz, hello, hello. Merry late Christmas to you. Happy late Christmas to you as well, my friend. We got three hours left on that fire there. Let's go ahead and pluck the last feather here from Mr. Feather. Well, you know, Negan, I don't think it's so much that you're plucking feathers. It's that you're, you're specifically targeting the down feathers. Which I think the down feathers are a different thing from just regular feathers, if I'm not mistaken. I may be completely mistaken, but I think they're a completely different thing than regular feathers are. So that that may that may be the difference. That that may be the way they're they're uh, um, justifying it. I guess you could say they're like, well, they aren't really just feathers. They're down feathers, and you have to have the right feathers. Yeah, I I know down feathers are just under regular feathers. I know, <laughs> but maybe you have to sort them out afterwards. I I don't know. I don't know. They just wanted to make it difficult. That's that's all I know. They just wanted to make it difficult on us. All right. So I think what we're gonna do is we will head. I this, I mean this seems like a great spot, but I don't have enough fuel to last the whole night here. Yeah, I don't have enough fuel to last the whole night here. So we're gonna head down the hill and try to get some and, and try to get to the cave. I was curious if there's anything else up here body-wise or anything like that. Nope, nothing body-wise up here. Okay. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Down feathers are a lot harder to get at and a lot harder to hold on to and not lose. I'm sure there's some rhyme to re and reason to. I mean, I think they mainly just didn't want to make it super easy to get the down feathers. Although, honestly, after, you know, enough time playing the game, you'll have so many down feathers, you'll be fine. You, you, won't, you won't know what to do with your down feathers. Let's just put it that way. You will be totally fine. Oh, Jesus. Where'd you come from? Do I have stink on me? I have no stink on me. That was a weird interaction. That was very strange. I wonder where he came from. He just is like, hello, Athenon. Welcome to my party. I'm I'm so glad I had a torch out. Scared, yo, scared me to death too. It's like, what the hell? What in Sam Hill is going on around here? We need to find some place to escape this cold. Well, that's right up ahead here in the Bears Cave, my friend. We'll be nice and warm in the Bears Cave. Don't worry about it. That was crazy time. 
And don't forget over on the YouTube side to smash that like button, boys and girls. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So glad to have you all here. So glad to be back on YouTube today. Sorry that I couldn't do YouTube on Saturday. The uh, internet was exploding that day for some reason, so. What kind of things are you expecting when they introduce customizable bases? Not really expect... I, I don't know what to expect with it. I think... I, I To be totally honest, Negan, I think people are going to be very disappointed with customizable bases. I don't think it's going to be... Ha I don't think it's going to be half as cool as everybody thinks it's going to be. I think... I think best case scenario, we'll have one... We'll have one building in a zone that we can customize. Worst case scenario, there will be one building in the game that we can customize. And it will be a fixed... It will be a fixed building, not something we can choose. That's just... That's just my... That's just my guess. I just don't... I just don't see... I don't see how they would pull off having us be able to customize any building in the entire game. They may. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but I just, I just don't see, I don't see how that would happen. I, I, I just, I think customizable bases are going to be a very, I think they're going to be very underwhelming when they actually do them. I just do. So for me, it's like, you know, it's going to be cool to see what they do, but, um. I don't th I don't think it's going to be half as cool as we're hoping. <laughs> Cuz that's just never what Long Dark's been about. Um it's that it's never really had a lot of, you know, base building, that sort of stuff in it. And I just don't see them I don't see them having a lot of that in the game. Um in the in the fashion I think most people are thinking it's going to be. But you know, I think I think I think there's going to be probably a building in each zone, hopefully that we can sort of put our stamp on and and fix up a little bit. We will be able to add some things to it. But I I honestly don't know what that's going to look like. To be honest, I think Long Dark is just fine without it. Because I, I don't really I don't really ever make a like a base in the game, so I I'm not I'm good without it. I'm good I'm just fine without a, a base customization thing. It's not it it's it, I, on the list of features I was looking forward to with this update. It's it's basically at the bottom. I know a lot of people are excited about it, though, because, you know, a lot of people really like the idea of being able to make your own base and stuff like that. But for me, I'm just kind of like, meh. It'll be, it'll be cool if it's in, you know, it'll be cool whatever they do with it. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna, I don't know how it's gonna affect things, though. So supposedly the moose is over here, but I don't see any moose. Of course. Hey, another storm lantern. But like I said, I, I just don't I don't know exactly how they're gonna implement it. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be the tricksy thing. Is how do they implement it in the game? Do they make it so we can customize any building in the entire game? Or a certain building in each zone, or a certain building in the game? So it's gonna be it's gonna be all about the implementation, I guess. Dead deer over there. I'm so cold and warming up again. Grab a few more of these here. Yeah, I don't ever see them having us chop down trees in the game. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think it I think I think we're probably going to be able to like clean up. 
like we'll be able to clean up a house in the game like be able to pick stuff up in it move it around but i think that's going to be about it like i said i think i think it's going to be i think i think the base customization is going to be rather underwhelming uh in, in the end are they going to work on on long dark after episode five yes they are yep they, yep they have already they've already uh they've already sort of made it clear they're going to ocean starfish that they're going to keep working on long dark even after episode five gets done which is super duper exciting so i'm sure i i think they'll probably come out with another like expansion or dlc after after this one but yeah i think after i mean episode after episode five there won't be as much emphasis on the long dark because i know they are working on other projects but uh i don't think they're gonna abandon the long dark either so i think the long dark will still get some love get some expansions get some uh get some uh you know extra stuff added to it both on the free side and on the dlc side but you know but we'll have to see i mean you know i don't know that for 100 percent certain but i think they i think they will keep going with it all right so now we have a imp improvised bedroll so this is giving us eight degrees warmth bonus which is awesome awesome possum sauce Lazy Medic, happy holidays to you as well. We'll try this. It's at 63%. Okay, it did not give us food poisoning, which is good on it. Ooh, I got to sneeze. Hold on. Excuse me. Holy moly. All right, let's get our birch bark prepared up. Free oil and metal. <laughs> I'm just going to chill out here for the night. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what they're going to do with the, the, uh, the, the base customization. It's, I, I'm not real. I, I have not really, I'll, I'll be honest. I've not really thought about it a lot, but I'm still not going topless, no. No. Still still not. Nope. I get in trouble here on YouTube for that. Interleaving. I mean Twitch kind of pulled back on a lot of that though. It's fun it's Twi Twitch is Twitch is interesting in that sense. <laughs> hey Larry, hello, hello. Happy holidays to you as well. No, for, for, for that interleaving, you have to go over to another site. Uh, that's that's where the topless app is, is over on another site. i get cold. My body would get cold, especially like... Woo, woo. We get... We get I, my, my upper half would get a little cold if I did that. I don't like being cold. That's not fun. Fat Matt, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Have a little sleep. Right? Have a little sleepy to boo. Let's get a little sleepy poo, baby. Yeah. The good news is we now have a 18 degree warmth bonus plus this. Plus this. All right, interleaving. We'll see you on the Twitch side. <laughs> There's still, I still am not going topless. I'm just putting that out there. Still not going topless, my friend. It's not gonna happen. Nobody want honestly, nobody wants to see that, including myself. Including myself. I, I do not I do not want to see that either. Alright, let's eat down. Actually, I have these two cans of pinnacle peaches. Let's uh let's eat some pinnacle peach. I need something to drink. Let's eat some pinnacle pinnacle peach here. I just saw an ad for uh, ad for Asgard's Wraith map meta quest. 
Looks like a ripoff of B-O-T-W. I don't know what that is. What did I wander in, Topless? Oh, well, you know, Twitch's new TOS, Larry, you know. As long as you don't show certain parts, you can, you can, you can, you can be suggestive. Suggestive on stream. As long as you don't, as long as you don't show certain things. All right, so there's those. There's my, there's those. I'm gonna throw that in there. And there's those. Let's throw the small ones in there. Get a few more hours sleep. Yeah, as long as you don't see that, red cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. As long as you don't see that, it's fine. Showing toes is okay. Yes, I could be a toe model. I could be a toe model on, on, on here. That would be that would be wild, wouldn't it now? All right, we got the right bow equipped. Let's go, baby. Let's do this. Ash Canyon, here we come. Doo-dah, doo-dah. Ash Canyon all night long. Oh, the dude all day. Although I'd love to see if I can get the moose. Hold on. Let's just see if the moose is up. I know I'm just, I'm detouring again. Let's go and at least see if the moose is up. If he's up, then we might just take a shot at him. See if we can get him down. Because if we, if, we, if we could, we could leave the, we could leave the hide here. The cure. And then we could come back for the hide after, afterwards. There's birch over here too, which is wild. The power in the verse can stop. Jifki, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, so the second half of the stream today, we are going to be doing some of the infected. So I'll be playing Long Dark here till about noon my time for about another three to two hours, and then we'll be playing a little bit of the infected this afternoon as well. Yeah, the moose is marked for right there. So the moose could spawn over here if he so desired. It would be a you'd be charged in Geneva with a war crime. The way the camera's set up now, he could be topless without breaking TOS. Well, there you go. I'd be cold. I don't. I don't want to do that. I, I actually put my sweatshirt on today because I was a little cold. So. See, even my character's cold. Even my character is cold. But welcome in, Jifki. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Hope you all had a good holiday yesterday. And hey, if you're over in certain parts of the across the pond area, I hope you're having a great boxing day too. Hope your boxing day is going good for you, so. All right, we got we got no uh, we got no moose, so we're just gonna keep going. Hello, dear. Bullseye, bulls, uh, Texas bull eye and a moose. I'm not gonna be Texas Texas bull eye and a moose. No, I, I like I like to shoot them right between the eyes. That's where we go with that. But yes, today we're going to do Long Dark for about two more hours. Then we're going to be switching and doing some of the Infected for about three hours. And then I'm going to be going out and getting a little driving done tonight. Get some of those holiday rides going on. Um, and then tomorrow I will actually be streaming in the morning. But, I, but I'll only be doing Icarus tomorrow morning for about four hours. So, And then we'll be back on Long Dark on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it was good. It was good, Justin. Had a very nice time. The very nice the time. Can stop me. Leo, 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 Maybe it's Leo, Maybe I'm not sure. 
Uh, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I'm horrible with screen names. I get to butcher. I get to butcher your screen name. That's that's my rule. I will butcher your screen name. Don't worry about it. I do it to everybody. Uh, you can do it legally, Larry, but ethically. Yeah, I know. It's not that you, you, you know, it's not that you can't do it. It's should you do it. It's like Malcolm in, 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 uh, in Jurassic Park, you know? He was like, we've spent all this time asking if we could do it, and we never stopped to ask if we should do it. So there we go. But yes, tomorrow morning at uh, uh, about nine, I'll be starting up some uh, some of the uh, the Icarus. We're gonna be starting a brand new Icarus run. Haven't played Icarus in gosh, like at least nine, seven to eight months since I played Icarus. So it's gonna be interesting because they've added a lot of stuff to Icarus. Icarus actually has over 118 weeks since its release. Icarus has had 118 weeks of updates. Am I going to do open world? Um, I'm actually going to be starting a brand new character. So I'm going to be starting on just a, a mission-based run on it. So last night on Long Dark, I accidentally ate something moldy, got food sickness, but instantly got caught in a blizzard. Just had a, a just tried to sleep and drink tea, but the snow shelter was awful. Yeah, the snow shelters are usually pretty awful, Justin. They are usually pretty awful, so... Where did I get the beautiful hat from? Uh, one of my viewers, Lynette, made it for me. Um, and I'll, I'll throw that up in... Uh, I'll throw that up in... There we go. Let me get it over to... YouTube as well. There we go. That should paste it into YouTube's chat, I think. Hopefully. There we go. Yep, there's Lynette Gate City Yarns. That's the gal who made me the hat right there. A very witty knitter. All right, let's get out of Timberwolf Mountain. Into the into the breach, my friends. Into the breach. Into Ash Canyon. The land of milk and honey. Well, lots of cattails anyway. Uh, you know, she has done stuff in the past, Larry. I don't know currently if she is, but she's done socks and hats for other viewers. So I would say you could contact her and see if she's up to doing anything. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen her in chat recently, so I'm not 100% sure if she's, do if she's doing anything right now. Um, but I, um, she, she has done stuff for other viewers in the past. I have, I honestly, I haven't seen her, um, I haven't seen her though in channel for a while, so. I still like to, to give her some, give her some, uh, props and kudos for, for what she's done though. I have a painting I did for you for Christmas. I messaged you on Facebook gaming page. Oh no! Well, I don't get on Facebook a whole lot, Justin, but I will get on there and take a look at it. I will check. I will go check it out. I haven't had a chance to get on there though, in quite a while. I just, I just honestly don't think of Facebook a whole lot anymore. <laughs> My son has real trouble getting hats that fit. I have a, I have a rather large noggin, Larry. So for me, uh, um, for for me, hats are hats are a tough. That's a tough thing. And it's nice. It's nice to have a. It's nice to have a hat that actually fits me. Lock that. Do that. Um. There we go. I got. I. I have to go see this, boys and girls. Sorry. I got. I got. I gotta go see what this is. Do to do to do to do to do to do.
Um, let's see. Where do I see things that are on... They're actually put up here by viewers. I'll have to check it out. I got, I got, I got, I got Facebook pulled up now. So I can go check it out when I want. I'm not real good at looking around on Facebook. <laughs> what is my size? I have no idea what my size is, to be honest. I know Lynette had to make me two halves because the first one, the first one, uh, I told her too large and she made a very large one for me. I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm that large. I don't think I don't think I'm 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 quadruple X. But I am pretty big, so. Wow, our hypothermia risk is pretty high. While I'm sitting here dilly-dallying around, we're getting closer and closer to hypothermia. It is very cold out here today. I'll come down here and grab more of these cattails after a while. Yeah, we got we got to get warm right now. And there's this nasty wind here. It's stopping us from getting warm. Because we can't really build a fire with the wind up. Luckily, there's a fishing hut right over here, so we'll go bitch. We'll go, go bail in there for a moment. Hey, Merry Christmas to you too, as well, Shalak. I hope you had a good one. Or Shalik. I'm I'm horrible with screen names. Sorry about that. I have to get custom ball caps for him and his insane what a hat costs. Oh yeah, if you have to have it made like custom wise, they can be they can be crazy spendy. I mean I'm I'm lucky. I can usually set it to like a, a pretty large setting and it will usually fit my big old noggin, so. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, everybody. I was thinking, why do drinks need double time to warm up and never burn away when shifted? Um, it's a it's a bug that's in the game and it's been in, in it for a while. They shouldn't do that. They didn't before what a year and a half ago or so. They never did that. You could just put a you could put a tea by a fire and it would just heat up and be hot. It never it never had that that problem before. So I don't know why that was changed or why that does that but um yeah that that's that's a that's a bug that's a bug in the old game that they haven't haven't ever fixed for us let's just start it with a piece of cedar we're gonna need the warmth anyway <clears throat> come on yeah come on fire and there's a note right here too that we can pick up. Of course, let's pick up the note. Yeah, it's it's serious. It's very serious. It's serious stuff, man. Come on, come on. Probably really big in one really bad place, and the devs don't want to touch it. Yeah, it's either that or it's just not. Either that or it's just not very important to him to fix it. For that. I mean, maybe when it comes down to it, they don't they don't want they don't want the they don't want it to be fixed. Who knows? Janelle, hello, hello. What zone are we in right now? Right now we are in Ash Canyon. 
We just got to Ash Canyon. Hold on a sec. Everybody. Hey, hello, hello, hey, oh, uh, <laughs> hello, I'm a white fish, how are you doing today? We're gonna play some puppetry of the fish, woo! Alright, let's get that in there, let's drop these pinnacle peaches too. Oh no, we just we just got to we just got to the zone. We have, we haven't been anywhere yet. We have not gotten anywhere in the zone yet. We uh we just we just got here. Yum yum yum. interesting this is fun this is fun I guess we can just sleep in here it's not like it'd kill us as long as we can keep the fire going we might strip off our clothes so they don't take damage <clears throat> let's eat the bass Cook up an herbal tea. Drink that down. <clears throat> it's all about that bass, about that bass. No treble. Let's go ahead and prepare up another couple birch bark here. Let's pair, pair up one more birch bark. We are in Ash Canyon, yes. We are in Ash Canyon. So yay for us, right? All right, we're gonna throw the rest of our wood on here. There we go. Unfortunately, there's no rope down yet because I haven't put it down there. Or the cat, the cat, the. Would you climb up the mine using the ropes? Oh, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I didn't come in that way anyway, so I did not. I did not come in that direction, so I don't even have. I don't even have that option. Nude beach, but uh, nude fishing. Oh, it's it's all the rage. Nude fishing is all the rage, Sh Shalik. It, it's it's just it's it's what it's what all the cool kids are doing these days. Hey, we got a cozy fire here. We are in no danger of dying. You know, it might, it's a little loud, it's a little annoying, but we aren't gonna die. So. <clears throat> Oh, that's interesting. Okay. We ain't dropping anything, buddy. Just chill out. Chill out, dude. It's 
all good. It's all gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's getting dark out here. There we go. Time to look for shelter. Shh. No, that's not. We got what I want. There we go. Let's throw the small ones in there. I got these thermoses just to hold my drinks. <laughs> Move that into there so that's full. Am I get a mountain goat up behind the fishing hut? Nah, I don't really need to. I have I all the stuff that I can get at that fishing hut there, Justin. I or uh, Negan, I can get from the other direction. And I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go up and hunt the bear first anyway. So I have I have no need to mountain goat up there. Now, if it was early in the game and I didn't have good clothing, I'd probably do it, but there's not going to be anything up there that I really need at this point, so. Lady Q with the uh, 100 bit saying five months. Five months. Oh, hi, Lady Q. Is the hunt without a roof in, in any way worse for the player? Uh, if you're in here, you'll want to take your clothing off. That way it doesn't take wind damage. But that's about the only that's about the only thing that makes it worse for the player. Is that you can take wind damage in it. So just take all your clothing Thanks off, you'll just be fine. Subscribed. Just making the rounds. Thank you so much, here. Lady Q, for Hopefully the five months well. I'll as well. Soon. Take care, everyone. Heart. Oh, well. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful time. There's a little white fish for us. Lady Q came in with a five month sub. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Lady Q's awesome. Thank you for the five months. Woo! There, see, he gave you a little dance right there, Lady Q. Made it through another night. He gave you that little dance right there. He was just all happy. Don't listen to him. He wasn't that happy. He was just being a poser. That's what he was. He was just a poser. I, I don't know what to tell you about George. He he just he gets excited about little things. Well, maybe he was a poser, but it was nice to ha see him so happy. <clears throat> now I'm gonna tell you something, children. Just just listen very closely. I am a fish. Yes, I am. Don't tell anybody though. Don't tell anybody. I I I had I had the, I got this deep voice and I don't know where it came from. All the other fish make fun of me because they all talk like this. But I talk like this. Very different fish, yeah. He wasn't he wasn't as awesome as the other ones. Well, he sure isn't as awesome as me. <laughs> do it, do it, just do it. Yes, just take me, Athenon. I'm not very big, but you want to eat me anyway. Yes, I do. All right, we got a little time on the fire. Get our pot down. Let's get some fish cooked up, baby. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. And we're getting oil for this, too, which is great. Let's drink down a large tea here. There we go. Let's drink down another large tea. There we go. The insanity of surviving for so long. We haven't even survived that long in this guy. He's only a couple... He's only like 30, 40 days in, isn't he? Yeah, we're only 43 days in on this guy. We haven't even survived that long. And he's already losing his mind a little bit. Cook up the other white fish here. Drop that one out there. There we go. Something's gotta go. Nothing's gotta go. Just chill out. Okay. Oh, is, is, is there really wolves out here howling and baying and doing their stuff? Really? Seriously, guys? Seriously? Got two hours left on that, but I'm just going. We're going. 
We got we gots to go. I forgot that was an outdoor fire. We threw all our wood in it, but the weather the weather actually is really nice right now. Actually, you know what we should do before we go. Here's what we should do. When you survive long enough, it gets colder by the day. Yes, if you survive, the longer you survive in the game, the colder it will get. The longer you survive, the colder it does get. So now there is a point after about day 100, it doesn't really get, it doesn't really get that much colder after about day 100. Let's put our clothing back on because that's probably a good idea. That's, that's always a good idea. Let's heat up a... Let's heat up a cup of coffee, because we're a little tired, so that, that'd be good to have. But yes, um, after about day 100, it really doesn't get much colder than, than it is. I mean, it does reach a point where the outside temperature on average on Interloper is usually between negative 30... Five and negative 40 most of the day so there will be very few few instance, instances of you actually being warm in, in the game if you're if you're outside now there will still be sometimes in the very late evening because the temperature does go up in the late evening so the closer you get to nightfall the, the warmer you're gonna get excuse me but that's that's a very short little window that you have where the where the temperature will get better what's the coldest it can get, get what is the coldest it can get in the game i've seen i've seen negative 114 i've heard up into the negative 120s so i've heard into the negative 120s but i've seen negative 114 myself But I've never seen any, I've never seen, I've never heard of colder than that. But that's pretty nasty. And that's like when there's a full-blown blizzard. Yeah, negative 140, negative 120 Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's during, that's during blizzards. And that was like in Bleak Inlet. Bleak, in, Bleak Inlet is by far one of the coldest zones in the game. I mean, right now it's only negative forty-nine. It's not. It's not even that cold right now. I mean, yes, negative forty-nine is cold. Don't get me wrong, but it's not even really that cold at the moment. Really, Mr. Wolf? I don't know what that is in freedom units. I don't. I don't know what freedom units that would be. That's 10 degrees colder than dry ice. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Negative 40 is negative 40 in, in Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's where it crosses. Now, this is an area that might have a moose in it. A moose sometimes spawns right in here. I don't see him up right now, so we'll grab these cattails. So it's a negative 184 Fahrenheit. Either way, it's freaking too damn cold. <laughs> it's too cold for human beings to actually survive. I have a feeling that negative 120 or 184 Fahrenheit I have a feeling your blood would all I don't know I don't know I don't know what it takes for your blood to freeze. But you would probably have some extremities getting very, very cold at that point. Oh, it's a uh, moose. That's stuff. a moose, guys. That's a moose, guys. That's that's a that's a moose right there. Yep, that's a that's a that's a that's a moose. Right there.
For Siberian people, it's like a hot summer. <laughs> never felt so cold in my life. You probably have, but... Negative two to three Celsius starts blood freezing? Really? A moose! Hey, Janelle, how you doing? Yeah, no moose in here, unfortunately. I would have loved it. I would love to get the moose here, but no such luck. No moose for us. No moose for you. We do have to grab these cattails though, because this is gonna this is gonna be sort of our this is gonna be our food for a little while. Siberia, they live from negative 50 to negative 60 all from September to May. Wow. That is crazy. And I think it's I think it gets cold when I you know when I wake up in the morning, it's like 30, 35, 30 degrees outside. And I'm like, woo, it's really cold out today. I know nothing, right? That's not cold at all. Not cold at all. All right, let's get it. Let's get up to the anglers. Ooh, the anglers den. Um. Oh, here we go. Like, am I on the right path? Yes, I am. Okay. Thought I had to go up further for some reason. I don't know why. I don't have stink on me, dude. No, I have no stink on me. Woohoo! Victorian with a two year. 24 month resub on the on the Twitch side. Thank you, Victorian, for that 24 month resub there. Oh my goodness gracious. 24 months, that's Victorian nuts. Just resubscribed for 24 months. That's A nutty. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you and yours as well, Victorian. I hope I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I had a great holiday yesterday. Had a lot of fun with uh, fr family. My son and I drove out to my mom's in the afternoon and had a blast. It was quite enjoyable. Oh, there's a body over here today. This body is not always here. Didn't have anything on it, but hey. Hey. What can you do? <laughs> Sometimes the body's got stuff on it, other times not. I always feel better when the holidays are over. Let's put it that way. I don't hate the holidays. I just always feel better when they're over. him i missed him i was backing up oh well i got him off me quickly i guess wow that was savage
Did he destroy my bedroll or anything? Bedroll's fine. Clothing's okay. I had a feeling there was a wolf close. We just need to get the heck out of here. Okay, you are you you want to be a pain in my ass, okay? Alrighty. Jeez Louise. Ignorant me has to ask what even can what can even be farmed reliably that far north? Um it's amazing how resourceful humans are when it comes push to shove. Oh yeah, you mean humans? The, the biggest, the biggest. Uh, I think the biggest thing we have over most creatures in the world is that we adapt to our surroundings very quickly. Now that's not saying that other other animals and creatures don't adapt, but they adapt over time. Genetically, they'll adapt to to survive in certain environments and hostile areas. They'll develop things. That, that will let them survive but we adapt even without we adapt without changing a lot of stuff about ourselves you know it's not like it's not like we we you know change change our actual biology for the most part to adapt to other places we almost make the places adapt to us so uh radio man says hey i played long dog for some time but stop before the new region with the airfield came out is there a lot of new stuff by now uh yes there is a ton of new stuff where do i begin um fishing fishing is a new is a new uh, they've changed fishing around a lot fishing is way more important now because fishing is a way to get vitamin c and vitamin c is something you're gonna have to fight with most of the game uh because you're gonna need vitamin c as you notice our cattail our cattails have vitamin c in, in them as well but vitamin C and scurvy is a thing that you have to look forward to. Um, they've added, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four new regions in the Forsaken, in the uh, Tales from the Far Territory expansion. There's four new regions that have been uh, added to the game. Uh, the the uh, far, ray br far Range Branch Line, the Transfer Pass, the Forsaken Airfield, and now the Zone of Contamination have all been added in and there is the uh the signal void tail that is added as well that that you can do if you if you have the you have to have the expansion for that um as you can see i now have actual gloves on my hands so your gloves actually represent what you have so you actually have gloveys on your hands now which is great And sleeves on you as well and those change with whatever whatever you're wearing so well and see Larry that's the thing is like is like animals tend to adapt by changing their basic physiology and sometimes that makes them unable to live in certain environments humans are able to live in almost any environment um, if given the right tools Sure, some of them are a lot harsher than others, but we generally can live in just about any environment that's out there. We just made we just made it to the the cabin here in Ash Canyon, so the Angler's Den is is the most awesome place in the world, without a doubt. We'll we'll hacksaw the metal pail down, and then we'll break these boxes down. Got a little cooking oil here. Very nice. What's that? Is that a can of dog food? Oh, hell yeah. It's starting to slow me down. Beautiful. But yeah, there's there is a lot there is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of new stuff, Radio Man. Um, and, and I mean the fishing is just one little aspect. They've had, I mean, I don't know if you have the DLC or not, but even without the DLC, there is a lot of new things, a lot of new things they've added into the game. Uh, even on the free, you know, even on the side for people who just already own the base game. They've added quite a few things on it. So, um, it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth giving another shot to. 
Um, the, the fundamental game has changed quite a bit. Which is always fun. It's always fun when stuff gets changed. Oh yeah, there's ptarmigans now. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. There's, so there's ptarmigans. There is this new... Uh, you can take a bedroll and make an improvised bedroll. And the improvised bedroll, if you put it down... Uh, the improvised bedroll has 8 degrees warmth bonus when it's when it's at 100%. Um, so that's cool. The um, the Trevois is a new item as well. Yep, you now have the Trevois, which uh, is this item here. You It'll hold up to 75 kilos of stuff, and you can carry it around behind you uh, wherever you go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there's a there's a bunch of stuff they've added into the game. Too many things to even remember all of them. <laughs> Carrick, how you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome on in. Oh yeah, and I forgot about the thermoses. You can put you have insulated flasks now. You can put drinks in the insulated flasks, which is great. They're changing Stellaris again, the tech system this time. Oh, that should be interesting. So, that that should be interesting. So, you're, you're talking about the uh, technologies, like actually researching things, right? They're always, they're always changing. Wow, I have 100, 100 cattails, boys and girls. 100 cattails. That is nuts. A lot of cattails. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of cattails. Let's drink down some teas to get our liquid back. There we go. Well, just uh, Josh, you know, last episode we didn't do a whole lot. We got we got out of uh, we got out of Pleasant Valley and into Timberwolf Mountain. Um, but we didn't really do a lot in Timberwolf Mountain, or Timberwolf Mountain. Today we did Timberwolf Mountain, and now we're in Dash Canyon, so. We, we actually are doing more today than we did yesterday. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. I know, I know, buddy. Let's get some sleep. Let's get some sleep. The run's going good, Nana. We just, we're here, we just got to the Angler's Den here in Ash Canyon. So we just got here, we're doing our stuff and things. We're looking around a little bit. We we got we got our we got our things going on. Drink. We're gonna go try to get the uh, we're gonna go try to get the uh, the backpack and the crampons, and then maybe make a go at getting back into um, Timberwolf Mountain. But I don't think I don't think we'll get there today because we still have a moose to hunt, a bear to hunt. We have several things we're doing so. Let's drink down one of our birch bark teas as well. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's drink another one down too. There we go. Perfect. Let's pass time for an hour. From anglers, which route do I take to the mine? I go up to the. Uh, I go up to. I, I go up uh, through the cave. I usually don't do the rope climbs. It's just, it's a lot. Oh, there's another pry bar here too. Interesting. Interesting. So that pry bar is at 100%. Yeah, we got a couple, we got a couple days worth of stuff to do here. So let's harvest that pry bar. And then we're going to fix our pack saw. Hey, game nerd mom, how you doing? Uh, we just got here to uh, we just got here to the old angler's den, and we are leaving some stuff here that we're gonna come back for. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the simple tools. I can make some arrows, can't I? I can make three arrows, as a matter of fact. That's kind of nice. We're going to uh, leave a few things here at the Angler's Den. We're going to go up to the cave and do the whole do the whole little zippity do where we go around and try to kill the bear, try to gather birch and maple, try not to be too overweight while we're doing everything. 
because being overweight is a thing. Uh, let's leave the books here. Oh, I got, I got that birch on me. Let's drop the birch. I should have dropped that last night, but that's my fault. That's totally on me. Put the metal in here as well. Let's see what kind of fuel we have on us right now. So I got a cedar. I got this book, this art, this book there that I'm not going to do. Just subscribe to your episode five. Enjoying watching your videos along. Oh, Wesley. Well, we thank you so much, Wesley. I appreciate that. Thanks for subbing up over there. I appreciate that very, very much. Hope you had a wonderful holiday. If you got any questions at all, please, uh, um, please, uh, you know, feel free to ask. You know, if, 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 if you got any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I'll try to try to answer them as best I can. Let's leave like, uh, let's leave like 41 here. And, um, do, 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 do. let's see here. What else can we leave here? Let's leave the cans, of course. Let's, uh, let's fill our lantern up and leave the rest of the fuel here. There we go. There we go. Oh. Um, let's see. What else can we leave here? Let's, uh, I'm going to take, oh, I can leave a few tinder plugs here. We got lots of tinder plugs. We're getting close. We have to be getting close to fire making three, right? We got to be getting close. Let's leave the oil here because we don't need that. Um, do, 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 do. We got a little water on us. We're underweight now, which is great. Let's leave the rest of the oil here. Spray can here. I'm taking my extra, my good bow with me. The Trevois is not going to help me much on the mountain, so I'm actually, it could. We're going to take the Trevois with us. You'll see why. You'll see why. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Let's leave that here. Let's leave one of the leathers. Let's leave some of the cloth. Let's leave the cloth here. All right, there we go. Wow, I just read Aquaman did not even make 40 million. I know. <laughs> yeah, they, it kind of, it kind of sucks. So it sucks for them. <laughs> but happy holidays to you as well game nerd mom for sure uh i was i i'm still trying to learn different regions any advice uh so you know wesley the the advice i give you if you're trying to learn the regions is try to learn them on a lower difficulty setting than say you know interloper or stalker i'd say play the game play it on like voyager settings to try to learn the other zones You'll, you'll have a lot more success learning them, and you won't be as frustrated. Bad Boy Gamer, how you doing, by the way? Um, you won't be as frustrated by it, and you can sort of look around and, and, and discover what's there. The main thing you want to find in the zones that you're looking at is you want to find where houses are, where caves are. Um, I'd say take some charcoal and maybe do a little mapping as well. Uh, even though it doesn't show you where you are on the map with, like, an arrow... You can kind of get a, you can kind of get a good read on the zone, uh, but really the zones are all about just kind of like playing. You know, you have to learn by, you have to learn, you have to experience the zone to really like get familiar with where you can go. And honestly, even after all the time I'm playing, there's still stuff in the zones that I forget about that I'm like, oh yeah, this is over here, or oh I need to go check this little hidey hole over here for something. Um, so definitely it's, it's all, there's no, I guess the ulti ultimately I'm saying there's no shortcut to, um, learning the zones. You, you just, you just have to, you have to play them a lot. Um, and, and watching other streamers and stuff like that, watching other people play can sort of show you where there's like little things in the zone that you may not have known about. Um, but to kind of learn your way around the zone, the only real way to do that is to, like, actually experience, actually play in it. And so I'd play, I'd say, you know, fire up a nice Voyager, uh, run, or Stalker if you're wanting a little bit of a, more of a challenge. And just go around and map a lot of the zone. Grab some charcoal, start mapping the zones, use the Polaroids to get a large map. That'll show you stuff as well. Um, and then you just kind of try to keep track of, okay, 
where am I right now? If I need, and, and kind of like constantly think to yourself, if I had to, if I was here right now, and I had to ditch, because a storm, like say a storm, a big blizzard came up right now, I'd have to be like, okay, where could I go? I know I could go down the hill and back to my cabin, or I could go up behind the waterfall here, and there's a cave up above that I could go in. So you're always, you know, kind of play those little games with yourself and be like, okay, if worst case scenario, I had to get somewhere to get out of the cold right now, where could I go? Um, and, and, and yeah, the, the memory is, the memory is the thing that you're really going to want to key on, but you can play those little games with yourself. And, and honestly, even if you don't play those games with yourself, the game will probably give you a blizzard at the worst time. And then you'll actually have to find your way to somewhere. Uh, my best advice if, like, you're in a blizzard and you're trying to find your, your way around, it's very easy to get turned around and start doing circles in a blizzard. The best option is to just set yourself a straight path, hit the auto-walk button, and just take your hands off the keyboard. Eventually, you'll bump into something. You know, you'll eventually bump into a building or a wall or something that'll let you give you a clue where you're at. Because there's, I mean, there's certain zones where, where it's rather limited where you can go, but um, there's other zones where, like, you can walk for miles and not bump into anything if you keep going around in circles. Where is this waterfall? This is uh, in Ash Canyon, right above the Angler's Den. Oh, there's so many wolves up there. Seriously? Can't even be that quick, huh? And I got bleeding now, too. And I've got, and I've got to use my bandage. These guys are the worst. This is how I should have done it in the first place. This is this this is the this is the safer way to go with these guys. Cause there's like two more of them up here too. That guy will go off and run and die somewhere. go yeah th this is a very dangerous area there's tons of wolves up here as you saw <laughs> holy wolves batman yeah i should have lit the torch in the first place if i had done that i wouldn't have faced that one that one would have never been able to hit me but i did i didn't think about it beforehand i was like eh, i don't need it but yeah i needed it i don't even know did that guy ruin my bedroll or anything didn't hit my bedroll Hit my clothing a little bit, but we'll repair it, so. What's our hypothermia look like? It's not too bad. Will you die? Will you will you die? Will you go and die somewhere? No, don't die up there. No 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I didn't expect him to attack me. <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'll just grab my, I'll just grab my arrow back from him." Didn't expect him to attack me there, little bastard. 
That hurt my self-esteem right there. It was like, oh, you're just gonna put yourself in my path? I'll attack you, yum yum. Wow. Hey! Hey now. Wow, Fulgurio, how you doing? Right, let's get inside before we freeze our bum off anymore. Holy crap. We suffered a lot today, boys and girls. Suffered a lot today. Not gonna lie. A lot, a lot of pain. A lot of agony. Oh my goodness gracious. Pandasaurus Rex with a 13 month resub. If you don't go over and give the lovely Pandasaurus Rex a follow here on Twitch, that would be awesome. Thank you, Pandasaurus Rex. And Pandasaurus will be one of those joining us here on our D and D adventures later on this next year. Pandasaurus so. Rex just resubscribed. For Can't wait for months. that. That's gonna I be swear. fun. Every time I pop in here, it's my right? anniversary again. Yeah. So well, I'm I'm just doing like Zelda lo-fi and chill, so it's not even like lyrics or anything. <laughs> but... Yes, go give Pandasaurus it. a follow, boys and girls. Give her some love. Uh, if you right-click spread, it'll spread them out nice. Because there's only three, so they don't go very far. All right, let's get our lantern out. What's the wolf movie with Liam Neeson? Oh God, I have no idea. I mean, there was Dances with Wolves, but that was Kevin Costner. No power in the verse can stop I don't me. know about a Liam Neeson one. Hey, thank you so much for the, uh, the follow there. Uh, Lakin lives, I guess. I probably screwed that all up. Sorry. Cold water. Cold water. You know, water is usually cold. Oh, thank you so much for the sub there as well, Thorophon. Appreciate that very much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all of you. Greetings, Michael. How you doing? We are, uh, we are, uh, yeah, we're a, li we're a little on the hurt side right now. I'm not gonna lie. We hurt ourselves today to see if we could bleed, and we did bleed. The Gray. I've never seen The Gray. Liam Neeson's a good actor, though. I like him. Liam Neeson, he, he does some good, he does some good stuff. Come on, give me, give me up the hill here. There we go. There we go. Kind of hard going through the cave some days. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button over on the YouTube side, boys and girls. We are streaming live on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick today. It looks like they aren't as bogged down as they were over the holiday there. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday was a was a nightmare trying to stream on all three because it was not working out well at all. It was bugging. It was bugging all over the place. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, I got herb, I got birch and herbal teas. So yeah, usually there's a deer down here, but there's not today. That the makes power me sad. Universe can stop me. That makes me sad. Thank you for the follow there as well. Hey, how you doing? Hey, giggity hey. How are you today? And I got a sodi too. All right. Well, we definitely need to. We definitely need to down a herbal tea. Oh, I don't have any herbal teas. Let's go ahead and make a fire. Oh, I don't have a torch either. That's interesting. Okay. Let's. Uh... Oh, we do have accelerant, so we'll use that. That's fine. There we go. We'll just use. We'll just use that oil we found. That's fine. I don't mind using up the oil we found. Let's throw that fur on there. 
A little bit of reclaimed wood on there. Did I just giggity gig? No, I did not giggity gig. Let's get that soup going on. Yum, yum. Lately, Liam's been making a lot of straight-to-DVD paycheck movies. Hey, you know, whatever floats his boat. Let's eat that, or drink that first. And then we will uh, drink a... Oops, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I have, a, I have a whole... Okay, I can transfer that in there. Okay, I can transfer those in there. And then this one, I have a whole thing with herbal tea, with uh, birch bark teas in it. There we go. There we go. Hey, sometimes, you know, those straight-to-DVD movies sometimes, Kenneth, those are good just to do. They probably give you that paycheck, and there's no, you have no, like, you, you don't have to worry about box office or anything. You just basically get a, they probably just give them money and just go, here, have money to shoot our movie. And there's no, like, you know, residuals or anything like that they have to do with it. So probably for them, that's a great, you know, probably for Liam, that's a great deal. And the studio, it's a great deal. They get to say, hey, Liam Neeson's in one of our movies. Boom, there we go. <sighs> birch bark tea, the elixir of life. Yeah, we'll be, able, we'll be able to get full health on our birch bark teas. Because like right now, I'll drink another birch bark tea. Because as long as you're hungry... It'll drink the whole tea, even if you're not completely thirsty. You have to be a little bit thirsty, and then you have to be you have to be hungry though. But you have to be a little bit thirsty to make it work. Uh, yeah, let's just cook up our cook up our other teas here. Have any other teas to make? No, I don't. Then we can drink another birch bark tea. But yeah, you know, I'm happy for Liam that he's got some work. I mean, you know, getting work in the getting work in the in the movie industry is a tough thing. Hey brother, I've been watching your videos on YouTube for some time today. I remember the first time I saw you in a screen. It was a clip of you losing a long run to the poisonous gas cloud poisonous cloud in the uh, BR mine. It was heartbreaking to witness. It was heartbreaking to be there too. <laughs> that was that was a heartbreaking moment that made me made me very salty against the uh Against the poison gas, for sure. I, st I still have scars from the poison gas. The scars are real, my friend. Okay, we're going to drink one more. One more tea. But thank you for coming on over and, and, and coming over here to Twitch and hanging out with us for a little bit. Let's get a little bit of water going and let's get a little bit of a snooze fest going there we go how close are we to cooking five um we're pretty close hey queen felicia how you doing let's check and see how close we are to cooking five um we're that close We are very, 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 very close. And we're getting closer with every tea and coffee we make. Every tea I make, every coffee I break. Oh, I need to make a, uh, I already made an old man beard wound, okay. Okay, so, I do need to make up another bandage, but I don't have the cloth right now. Let's just get some sleep. This should, actually, let's drink down 
one more. One more birch bark tea. <laughs> Let's see how many hours of rest, improved rest. We have five hour of restored condition. We have eight hours left of restored condition. So that's what, two, every two hours is 6%. So 6, 12, 18. So we'll get 24% health back just for sleeping for eight hours. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have full health by morning. We'll, we'll probably have very... We'll either have full health or very close to full health by morning. Very, cl very close to full health. Very, very close. Drink down the soda. I could, I could go ahead and drink another birch bark tea, which would guarantee us that we'd have it soon, but... Seraphim Falls, how you doing? How's it going? I'm doing I'm doing good today myself. We uh we are having a blast. We are very close to cooking five. We are like less than 20% away from cooking five right now. Alright, let's go ahead and get our lantern out. I should have grabbed a torch, but I didn't. I'm just am not that smart. I didn't did not grab a torch. That's okay. I didn't think about it. It was my fault. Now I'll have to hard light a fire the next time, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But that's all right. Oh, we got a blue flare. Okay, we'll just use the blue flare. That is perfect. And happy holidays, everybody. You love the Travois so much, but bad news for Badeers. I must repair it then so it's massacre time. Yes, you, you, have to, you have to kill a lot more deer now than you used to. Yep, a lot more deer must suffer. But you know what you can do? Here's something you can definitely do. Oh, is there an Aurora outside right now? Is that, a, is that Aurora light coming in? That might be Aurora. Might be an Aurora happening right now. Yes, it is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Looky there. I mean, we aren't going to stay out here because I don't do that. That's just not, that's just not how, that's not how I roll, boys and girls. Okay, so. I think I will eat up a few more cattails. Turkey stock is strained now, making jars of turkey broth. Yum, yum. And then let's grab out one more birch bark tea we suffered we suffered a little bit of pain yesterday so we're just trying to recover from our painful moment yeah i was i was happy to see that wasn't it was not maple to repair the travois that made me very happy as well all right let's just pass some time All right, time to go, boys and girls. We got a 12% bow. We have another bow as well. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We, ha we have another bow. I just I just have to pick the 12% bow. Yeah, see, right down there is where we suffered all of our pain and agony. I'm pretty sure. Is that where we suffered it all? Yeah. So this way is to the gold mine. We're gonna go over this away and visit the mining camp. Oh, Jesus Christ! And the bear. Yeah, and the bear. Thank you, Fulgurio. Yep, and the bear. Fulgurio is like, what about the bear? What about the what about the bear? Well, I'd like to get the bear. I'd like to get the bear gotten down. Kill the bear and stuff him, stuff him in the travois. Yes. 
That would be awesome. He is quite unbearable, though. I don't see him, though. It's not like you can cast speak with animals. No, can't cast speak with animals at all. Find some place to Just finished uh, mo uh, moving myself from Coastal Highway to Forsaken Airfield. Nice. Oh. There's the bear. Huh. I almost feel like I just want to go sit in this cave. He's heading this way. I almost just want to go sit in this cave with a fire going and chill out for a minute. Phenon, if there was a similar a difficulty similar to Interloper with extremely rare guns and tools, would I play it? Uh, I actually would. I actually personally, next gen, I actually am a big advocate of them adding the revolver back into Interloper in a very limited capacity. Maybe one revolver in the entire game, and maybe a max of, uh, maybe a maximum of like 20, 20 uh, uh, shells for it. I'm a very big advocate of that. Have been for quite a while. Um, when the Tales from the Far Territory first came out and the revolver was in it, I was actually really excited because it was like, cool, it's a late game thing that I can go do. I was actually super stoked about it. And then they went, nah, we didn't mean to do that. Just kidding. And they took it out. And I was like, aww. So yeah, if there was a similar to interloper type difficulty that had limited weapons in it, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against that. I don't know if I I don't know if I want the tools in it too, but I, I wouldn't mind having the revolver back in the game. For sure. Hello, Mr. Bear. Oh, shoot, I just I missed him. I did not mean to scare him away. Son of a biscuit. Well, I hit him that time. I hit him that time, so... Does anyone know if they changed Timberwolves? Because I got attacked by a moose, a bear, a bear, moose, wolf, uh, by two Timberwolves. That's... Yeah, I don't know if they changed it or not. Oh, we're... Lo lo interlopers are able to craft gunpowder. We have lead batteries available to us, so we can craft lead. So we could craft, um, uh, we could craft, uh, the, uh, um, the bullets. The only thing we're missing are the casings. That's all, that's all we're missing is casings. Everything else we can do. So, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to do it. I would, I mean, it would make us police our... Our, our brass really carefully because we'd have no other source of getting anything and we'd, we would we would have and, and we'd have to go to the machining area to uh, make sure that our um, that our uh, our gun stayed in good shape all right so how many bears do we have down right now I think we have one bear killed one. There, I heard him drop. I heard him flop. 
And there's the storm. There's the storm that accompanies the death of a bear. <laughs> I heard the bear flop down out there, though. I'm sure we have two bears now. No, we don't. Oh my gosh, did the storm despawn the bear? Did it really despawn the bear? Oh, that, that sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. So what do you? So I I don't I don't get what you're saying about the. Uh, I, I don't get what you're saying about the uh, Timberwolves though. The cutscene for two Timberwolves. Ah, huh. yeah, I'm not sure, Ocean Lover. Oh, you're talking about a cutscene for the Timberwolf attack? They don't do that. I mean, sometimes they will if you get too close to them, but most of the time when the Timberwolf attacks you, he runs by, he nips you, and he does a little bit of damage to you, and that's it. Well, Tugboat, I don't even think we got the bear. No, we did. We did get the bear. He's down. We got two bears recorded on there. We got two bears down, boys and girls. Oh my. Nope, we, we, we did get, we actually got him, believe it or not. I, I believe he's just down outside the cave here. Uh, there's not there's not a lot of places the bears can the bear can hide um, in this in this area so which is good news for me but you know how you get cutscenes for wolves bears and moose I just got attacked twice they attacked fast and then I got the struggle animation twice. Huh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've not seen anything they've changed about them at all, so. I've not noticed any difference on in, in the wolves and the... I know the timber wolves don't always give you a cutscene. They, they don't always give you a struggle area. But I don't know. I don't know about multiple struggles for different animals, though. That, that, I've, that I've not experienced, so. That I cannot speak to. So you got really lucky day. One wolf killed three deers for me, and then another two wolves and two more deer. Nice. I'm just gonna finish these off because we have the water for them, and we've got time because this damn storm's just taking forever out there. Okay, it looks like the storm is going to fade away here. Excellente. All right, let's go find ourselves a bear, boys and girls. Let's go find a bar. I'm gonna grab two torches. Now, actually, I'll grab three torches. Then I can keep the I can keep the best one. I'm pretty sure the bear just died out here somewhere. I heard him flop. I mean, honestly, the closer he is... Yeah, there he is right there. Those those crows do not belong. Yep, there he is. Nice. Nice! Hello, Mr. Bat. Why, hello there. Yeah, you notice how I'm not losing any health while doing this? 
even though I have hypothermia risk, I didn't lose any health during that during that animation. The animations are a little bit broken right now. And my torch didn't lose any any quality either. You notice that? There's some weird weird stuff going on. Weird things are afoot at the Circle K boys and girls. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Strange things are afoot. that in there there we go yeah so uh yeah if you have uh yeah if you're if you're harvesting and you get cold after you come out of the harvesting animation it will it will make you it will uh, start losing health but during the actual harvesting animation you don't actually lose any health Uh, let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there and that in there and that 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 and that there we go now. We're below weight. So we'll actually pull this at a pretty pretty good pace Making water trivia one half cubic foot of fresh snow is Point one eight seven to point two six one gallons of water. So roughly a liter. Interesting. New vitamin C sickness. Yeah, you need to you need to definitely fish at some point. Fishing fishing is something you need to do. Does the Trevois lose carry capacity as it degrades? No. It's just the Trevois loses its it loses its uh, um, it loses its condition pretty quickly to be honest. It it doesn't it doesn't last it doesn't last for a long long time. Now I've noticed though I noticed that when I first made the Trevois, when I before I'd ever deployed it, it stayed at a hundred percent in my backpack. So after I deployed it, then it started breaking down not only when I'm dragging it, but when I have it in my backpack as well. So it seems to break down in both of those both of those uh, areas. Yeah, the the scurvy affliction is something that's going to be a late game problem. It's not going to be it's not going to be something that just happens to you within a week. Um, so you can repair it up to 70%. Oh, that's good to know. I, I, I had tried it out at 50%. I think I had let mine get down to 50 before I repaired it. And it seemed to work pretty good, so. Gosh dang it. Drop some gear. Well, I got two of them. I guess that's something. Little buggers. Little buggers. Yeah, I was I was really lucky on that shot. I was not expecting that shot to hit. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I was not expecting that shot to hit. I was just like, yeah. What's it was a wing and a prayer. Yeah, I did that right there. Wing and a prayer. It's like that Bon Jovi song, Living on a Prayer. I think, yeah, I think the Trevois loses the same amount if you load one kilo in it or seven, 70 kilos. All right. There we go. 
Where are the small game arrows? I haven't made any. I, I didn't I didn't have enough feathers on me to make any yet, so. And I can't crouch yet, so. Yeah, I mean, right now my Travois is sitting at 78%, but I barely used it also. <laughs> oh, this gear is slow. I, 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 I have barely used my Travois at all. Okay, so first things first. Let's drop the hides and the guts and the birch. There we go. We'll grab some cookie and we'll grab some material. Oh, wow, we have that there here too. We got that. We got some more salt. We got some taters. Uh, well, the meat does actually smell in the Trevois. If you're carrying the Trevois wit behind you, they will smell you. They they will smell you and come for you if you're if you if you are uh, if you're carrying the meat in the Trevois. They will. I've I've seen it happen. You have to drop, but once you drop the Trevois, it acts as if you're dropping the meat. So if you drop the Trevois, the animals just go, oh, well, never mind, never mind. We 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 thought we smelled something over there, but we really did. Yeah, I need to eat in a second here. I can hear force. How about a couple of cattails? If they smell it, they will come. Cause yeah, I try I tried it in uh zone of contamination and man, they came from all over the place. But all you have to do is drop it. If you drop, if you drop it, they'll they'll just they'll they'll do the same thing as if you dropped a gut or whatever. They'll just turn away and go the other direction, unless they've locked onto you. If they've locked onto you, well, you're kind of screwed at that point. There's no getting around it if they've locked onto you. But before they lock onto you, you can just drop it and turn away and go. Never mind. We'll drink that a little bit. Well, it just it just makes it so you don't have to shuttle stuff as much, which is awesome. I want to cook by an open fire. I'm not going to use that for sure. There we go. Yeah, the Trevois is definitely a game changer for the moose, the bear, for moose harvesting, bear harvesting. It makes it just so much easier now. To get to get your stuff over to where you want it to be, it's just it's beautiful. Turned out pretty well. It did turn out pretty well, my friend. We will definitely cook in our pans. No, there we go. And there we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Spartacus Maximus with a big five. Oh, baby. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Spartacus, for that beautiful 50 month resub oh my Spartacus goodness gracious Maximus 55 just resubscribed for 50 months Merry 50, Christmas is Spartacus Maximus 55 for 50 months well guess what Spartacus Maximus that means you're only five months away from being Spartacus Maximus 55 for 55 I mean that's pretty cool right there right I know it's bonkers isn't it yeah you'll be Spartacus Maximus 55 for 55 months we'll have we'll have to throw like a party or something you know i we'll have to have like a little party for it i'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much i know buddy i know i know it's rough Come over here. We're gonna drop that one there. Gonna pick that one up and come over here. Pick that one up. We got 46 minutes on that. 
These are a little bit frozen, so it'll probably be... Yeah, it's just about as easy. There we go. Ugh, but I hope you had a good holiday, Spartacus Maximus. I hope you had a good Christmas. You'll have a happy New Year's. We're pushing to cooking five right now. Look how close we are. That's how close we are right now to cooking five, baby. Aw, yeah. Cooking five right around the corner, my friends. And then this bear, mm, 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 mm. He's gonna be yummy. He's gonna get in my belly. <laughs> I love my horses. No, we we are gonna we are we are not we are not advocating for any horse eating to go on. There will be no horse eating here. It's starting to weigh me down. I did not want to drop that. Forty-six minutes on that. Let's go ahead and harvest up another one. Meat's back on the menu, boys. I like it a little bit in the terms of loot balance and the world getting colder. I just like the guns. I would be willing to craft ammo and tools. Uh, I even find. Uh, uh, oh yeah, totally. I, 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 I feel the same way. I like the. I like the challenge that Interloper gives. I wish, though, that we could have... I, I, see, for me personally, Next Gen Gamer, my my ideal, like, um... My ideal custom-type game is that I could turn on and off anything I wanted. Like, I could be like, I, would, I really want to have, um... A pea coat in the game, but I don't want to have the, uh... I don't want to have the, um... The expedition parka in the game, you know, and you can just turn off and on every every food, clothing, tool, everything. You could go. I just want I, I want to have knives in the game, but I don't want to have hatchets. You could even do a game where you're like, I I'm, I don't want I don't want to have any hacksaws in the game. There's I mean, there's all sorts of cool things that you could do if you had ultimate customization. But I, I really liked it, Next Gen Gamer, where they had... Um, I, really with this much gear. I really liked it when they had the ability for us to actually um, get the revolvers. The revolver being in the game was an amazing thing. Especially since it was rare and you didn't get much ammo for it. It's like, that's, that's a cool feature. I love that. I want that in my game. And then they took it away from us, and I was sad. Bit of meat trivia. The preferred meat of the Apache was mule meat. Okay. Not sure why My nose is itching like crazy right now. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find a tissue or something around here. Can't find anything. That sucks. They would eat what they had to but love Spanish mules. Well, you know, when you're in a survival situation, you pretty much eat whatever you have to. There's not there's not a lot of there's not a lot of being picky. Being picky and surviving doesn't usually go along real well with each other. And it doesn't. Woo! It's not very good for honey. Not sure why they wouldn't just... They just don't put it in interloper. Well, yeah, and that, and, and really, I mean... with me And the whole thing, uh, that one guy with the revolver, is that with the limited amount of ammo you have, 
you really you're really judicious in its use you don't just go around shooting anything that's moving you you you, you look around you go okay well you know i'm gonna save some of these bullets for when i need to go you know deal with the timber wolves i'm you know i'm gonna make sure I at least have at least have six or eight so i can deal with the timber wolves and not die and so you actually are very uh um you're very judicious in its use and you don't you don't just willy-nilly go around just spraying and praying everywhere why am i carrying a can of ruined dog food very simply um i almost have cooking five when i reach cooking five i can eat the dog food and it won't hurt me well you know justin most of the time when you're when you're killing animals in the wild overcooking them is probably the best i best thing you can do <laughs> you do you in the wild you do not want to undercook anything you know it's perfectly fine to have a a medium rare steak uh you know in, in a restaurant but you don't want anything medium anything in the wild you want it to be you want it to be cooked 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 it's so it's sort of like boiling water you want all the all the nasty stuff and, and even then some of it you can't kill even even if you even if you cook stuff to heck you know to heck and back sometimes you can't get all the parasites and everything out of it there's the matches nice another cooking skillet that's beautiful little can i like it you want it extra crispy you don't want to be like Gollum. You don't want it raw and wiggling. Raw and wiggling doesn't do you any good. Well, isn't 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 sucking the marrow out of animals' bones? Isn't that a great isn't that a great source of something? Isn't that like, isn't that like really, is that like, I, I mean, I don't want to say healthy, but isn't that like, is that like a really good source of something? Is getting too heavy to carry. Hunger does make the best seasoning and sauce, yes. Calcium, okay. Mar marrow is primarily fat, okay. Well then, it would definitely be it definitely be good. Iron, calcium, calcium, energy. Because I, I, because I, I mean, bone stew is a real thing, isn't it? Is it? Isn't like bone stew like a real? Isn't that like a real, an actual real thing? Bone marrow is very good for you. That's why Cindy is making uh, broth from scratch. Uh, I think we could actually get a. Uh, I think we could actually get a mag lens fire out here. We could. But how much fuel do we have left right now? We don't have a lot of fuel left right now. Some parents will give their tots a bone to suck on. Is that why you say, I've got a bone to pick with you? <laughs> Is rich in vitamins and minerals that leach into the water from the bones. Okay. The best stuff for broth right there. Bone broth. Yum. Well, I, I know, I know like getting soup bones is like a really big um I know I know getting like soup bones is like a way to like get stock for your, you know, soup. That's like something you can actually buy as a soup bone. So I'm not a big cook, so I, you know, I'm not real smart on all things. All right, we'll get that going on. We got it. We got to pluck these ptarmigans, though. We got. We got it. Shh. Will. 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 Okay, so we need to take. We need to take the meat first, and then we can take the. Then we can take the ptarmigan feathers off of him. All 
I'm gonna get the other the other meat from this guy first too. All right, that should give us enough to make two broths, which is great. And then what we can do here's here's the plan. See, here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna harvest those feathers as our stuff cooks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see. I doubt I still have a Maglin's fire chance out here. No, I don't any longer. That's fine. Let's grab some of these big pieces of meat. I'm going to drop some of the smaller pieces out here. Let's sort it by weight. There we go. Those are smaller pieces. I'm gonna leave those out here for the moment. We should be we should be able to get cooking five off of this bear. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. We're just saying that now, huh? Oh gosh dang it, I picked up another small one. Get all those out of the way. Then we should just have the big pieces here. Oh, there's another there's another small one. There we go. Perfect. Alright. I have cooking five in real life, but I still won't eat ruined dog food. Probably probably a good idea. They think that primitive humans started using fire using Tools to break open the stuff to get marrow out of the bones. Probably. Break open bones to get at the marrow. Ham bone will be used to make split pea with some leftover ham. Then you pull out the bone and any chunks get separated and the meat goes back into the soup and the fat. And the bone pull... Oh, yum yum. That sounds delish. That sounds super yummy, actually. All right, we should have enough. Do I not have enough water? Do I need to make water first? I need to make water first. No, I got I got water. Then why do I not have the ability to make broth? There's broth. Top tier food in Mad Max. Go ahead and pluck some feathers here. Or a feather. There we go. <clears throat> they should add bone components to the game. It'd be interesting if they did, Justin. I'd love to see bone weapons. I think being able to make bone weapons would be kind of cool. I can make ptarmigan stew. Can I not make more broth? Do I not have the... I don't have the water for it. You know what? We could make some ptarmigan stew, though. That'd be kind of cool. Do I want to make... Yeah, let's make, let's make some ptarmigan stew. Why not? Why not? We got enough stuff. Let's make some ptarmigan stew for a change. We can take two feathers off of these. Bone tip arrows would spare you having to go to the forge. You know, I think bone tip air, bone tips would be really cool if you could if you could take bones, craft those up at like a like a workbench. That would be I think that'd be really neat. Do another tarm against stew real quick. Made a mode knife out of a deer leg once. Took forever. It'll stick. It'll. St it, I will stick with steel. Yeah, it's probably not probably not a fast process, that's for sure. How'd you make a bone tip arrowhead without a knife or hatchet? Yeah, see that's the only thing. I think you'd have to make it with a knife or a hatchet. That's that's the problem, Sturgle. I think you'd have to have the knife or hatchet um, before you could make it. With a whetstone. Okay, that's an interesting idea.
or a rock. You could rock it. Rock it out a little bit. How close are we to cooking five? Oh, we are so, we are so, we are like within, within, within distance of it right now, my friends. 900 calories off one of those. That's really good. Shush, you don't need to close your eyes. You're fine. You're fine. It's going to be fine. We got a little more ptarmigan down to harvest here. A little more fluffity fluff. Eskimos have hundreds of bone tools. Well, they also do like uh, they they make they make stuff out of whale bones and stuff, don't they? As well. All right, that'll be the last one of those. Bone and antler tools were made by rubbing them against rocks. Well, again, the Eskimos are a testament to man's ingenuity for living in places that really you shouldn't be able to live in. <laughs> places inhospitable to humans that are like, wow, how did they how do they actually live there? Well, we'll sleep for an hour. How's that sound? Whalebone used for sled runners and snow knives. There it is. Cooking five, baby. Oh, yeah. Hello, ruined uh, dog food. You're my friend now. Cooking five. Let's go. Hello, dog food, my old friend. So day 47. That's not too bad. So day 47 for cooking five isn't too shabby. And now all this bear meat is, is, uh, is, is edible. It's the incredible edible bear meat. Now we do have to be careful. Raw bear meat can still hurt us. Aldreas, hey, how's it going, man? The raw bear meat can still hurt us. That is, we we are not. It's not like we're immune from stuff. We just have a very we 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 can eat it if it's cooked. So. But welcome back. Welcome in, Aldreas. I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you had a great... You're going to have a great week this week with all the holiday stuff going down. All right, so we are we are at Cooking 5 now. I'm so happy. That just, make, that just makes life way, way so much better. I know, buddy. It's 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 tough. It's tough being you. All right, let's just get a uh, half liter water on that. And there. It's starting to weigh me down. Shh. Shh. You got a 10k DD a DKK for my mom and dad as a gift. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad that you had a good holiday. I can't believe we can eat bear meat now. I can barely stand it, boys and girls. Barely stand it. Oops, did I drop my... I dropped my stew. Oh, yeah, 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 because that, that's... Yeah, that's something that... That's not gonna... Not gonna last for long inside yeah 2024 is right around the corner right around the corner 
You also go back into the mech arena. Nice. Glad you're still enjoying that. Let's just sleep like six hours, I guess. I don't want to sleep for too long because then we're going to sleep the whole day away. That's not going to be fun. All right, we did find some flour, which is cool. We got a little bit of elegant broth. We got our teas on us. I can make those up real quick. I could make the improved insulation. You've been playing Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. So improved insulation is really nice. It basically, improved insulation replaces the head wrap. Because improved insulation gives you two degree warmth bonus in your accessory slot. It's a 2-1 accessory. It's really super nice. Okay, I do have two pots. I'm going to harvest that one for metal. The Dyson Sphere program has been great. I've been playing I've I've been playing that myself, and that is that is Dice, the new Dyson Sphere program update is awesome. The dark the dark fog's kind of cool. I haven't I haven't left my planet yet, Aldreas, but we're going to be leaving it here soon. But I have I haven't left it quite yet. But yeah, Dyson Sphere is really fun. And I enjoy playing it. I know it's not it's not the it's not most people's favorite game on the channel, but I, I enjoy it quite a bit, so. All right, I'm going to take all this stuff with me. I'm going to go take it down and drop it down at the other hut down here. I think for the most part... I if I can drop any of this gear. Shh. Clearing the solar system first before expanding my Type O Blue Hypergiant. Probably not a bad idea. Deploy that. Put all that in there. Grab all of the... Grab all of the meat that I can. I'm just gonna take all we're not gonna stay up here. I'll stay down at the other at the other house. Can't believe we can eat bear meat now. That's so awesome. So awesome. There we go. Because of rejected heads, uh, so much usually it looked usable it looked usable. Even found one stone axe head. Got an arrowhead and a spearhead ma making sight, which, uh, w while hunting about 40 years ago, is pretty cool. That That is really cool, old fart. That's pretty neat. What's a new game and few people are streaming it, Red Cap? What, Dyson Sphere Program? I mean, Dyson Sphere is not, not necessarily new. I mean, it just, you know, it's got the new update, but yeah, there's not a lot of people who stream it, so that's true. It's got the new update out, though. The update is new, yes. Feather! Hello, Mr. Corpse. Do you have anything for me? No, you don't? Okay. Well, you suck. You suck! Looking around for all the wood that I can find. Oh! Heavy hammer! <laughs> That's the third heavy hammer I've found now. 
That is that is nuts. I've got two heavy hammers already down in uh I've got two heavy hammers down to the um down in the uh Mountaineer's hut already, and now I have another heavy hammer. That is crazy time. All right, let's grab everything out of there. Let's drop the meat here. I can't carry this any further. There we go. Pick up the Trevois. And there's our note for the Angler's Den stash. There's the memento key for it. Yay. There's a note on the table here. This is just a note telling about the gold mine, which is good to have. Should be able to make a sled in the game. Make traveling downhill faster. <laughs> yes, that would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That would be kind of nifty if they had a sled. I always bring my pry bar, but I don't think I've ever found... I, I don't think I've ever found that, like, that to be, like, locked. Hey, some pork and beans. What do you know? And then we also need to drop the... Really? Seriously? I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to drop the scrap metal. Oh, I'm sorting it wrong. That's why. I was like, why is it doing this to me? There we go. Just drop the hide over it. Now I don't have to look at it anymore. Jeez Louise. There we go. Let's leave some stuff here as well. Let's leave the cloth here. Let's leave the feathers here. Actually, you know, the feathers I'm going to take along. I'm going to make some I'm going to make some of those fancy the fancy arrows. I'll make some of the fancy air them, fa them fancy arrows. Yeah, you can shoot those little ptarmigan dudes with. The ptarmigan shooting arrows. Something's making me feel tired. Probably because we've spent a lot of the day doing things. And now we're tired. Them fancy crooked arrows, yeah. That's right, me for floor, them fancy crooked arrows. Those things are pretty cool. And bunnies, yes. You can shoot bunnies and ptarmigans with them. The main reason I have them for, the, though, is the ptarmigans. Because the ptarmigans are my main enemy. Okay, we don't have a lot of water. Do I have some teas I can drink? I do have some teas I can drink. Very good. Very good. Very nice. All right, there we go. Let's get some sleep. We'll get up in the morning. Man, me, I call them pointy sticks. They are kind of pointy sticks with little feathers tied to the end of them. We'll drink down a few more of our tatties. Our tatties. There we go, and then we can take our thermos here. Let's see, anything transfer there? No. There we go, we can transfer some of these small ones into here. There we go, oh, there's another couple here. So that gives us 34 tiny T's in there now. <laughs> I enjoy that way too much, let me tell you. Okay. 
Um, let's see. There's something. I, okay, I'm gonna eat that just to get it out of my inventory. It'll make us a little tired, so we can sleep for a little bit longer. There we go. Let's take the cardboard box. We do need a little more tinder. How close are we to fire making three? Well, we're fire starting three is coming up pretty quick. Archery three is halfway through. Mending is halfway through there. Um, I need to rip these shoes apart. We'll do some maintenance right now. What's my single biggest donation I've ever gotten in my streams? I think I got one. It was years ago, but there was one that I got that was for like, I think it was like $500. I think it was like I think it was like five hundred bucks. That's like the that's like the biggest single one I've ever got though. Yes, for like a single donation at a time, and that was pretty that was pretty hype. Grab a little bit of cloth out of there, because we do need to repair a few things. Do I even have any sewing kits or am I using my... Okay, I'm using my uh, fishing gear now, so got to be careful of that. But as far as YouTube, I, I, I mean, that was on the that was on the Twitch side, so... That, that was on the Twitch side. That wasn't on the YouTube side. Because that, that's... I wasn't even streaming on YouTube at that point, so... Well, yeah, when games collected travel money for me to go to TwitchCon, yeah, I, I totally forgot about that, Faith. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that was like seven. That was like seven hundred. I was, I, but I was thinking like of a, just a, just a, uh, just a, uh, uh, like a donation, donation. But yeah, that that I totally forgot about that. That is true. And that was very kind of Games Lift to do that. I was not. Not expecting that at all. Does your bow degrade when you are only aiming with it, or do you need to shoot with it to degrade it? You have to actually shoot with it for it to degrade. To degrade. It does not degrade just by aiming it. The, the shooting of it is actually what makes it go down in quality. Uh, we're gonna get. We're gonna get the. We're gonna uh, try to go get the backpack here. The backpack's our ultimate goal. But right now, we're going to go explore a little bit more. Yeah, he's uh, he's working at his new job, doing well. Um, he's actually going to be uh, joining us here this next month and do some D&D &D with us. And I think he plans on returning to streaming at some point as well. I'm not going to speak for him, but I believe I believe he is uh, planning on returning to doing some streaming at some point. So that's exciting. It'll be good to see him back in the saddle again. Yeah, no, he's he's doing he's doing good. All right, let's drop let's drop some of this here, like all of it. There we go. And we'll drop some sticks here too because we don't need all those on us. Okay. I don't think I'll need my bow. Oh, I don't need the hammer on me either. The hammer I don't need either. Hey, Jordan. Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Don't need the hammer. I can put the Trevois away because there's no more animals up here that we're going to be hauling around. Let's store the Trevois in here for the moment. Let's store those. Um, I'm going to store both those flasks here as well. I was like lowering my weight so I don't have too much, so I can grab some more stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not going to put that inside a container. I hate, I, even though I know, I know neither of these is going to rot by the time I get back here. Just as a general rule, just don't put food inside a container. 
if food is in a container and it dies, if it goes to zero, it'll just poof, go away. Let's go away. Well, Justin, we'll actually be streaming our adventure uh, of the D and D. Uh, we'll be streaming our D and D adventures coming up at the end of January, early February. We'll be streaming that. So, that's gonna be that's gonna be out there for everybody to see. So, what is the most annoying affliction? Uh, the most annoying affliction is probably cabin fever. I just hate getting cabin fever. It sucks. It sucks to get cabin fever. So bad. But yes, we'll actually be streaming our D&D stuff, uh, Justin. So keep an eye out for that. That's coming. I'm, I'm going to be talking to talking to Jarl here very soon and figuring out with him uh, the best way to do all of that. I'll grab three pieces of meat because why not? Let's go. Uh, does my nephew still stream? No, he's... My nephew's really super busy with his jobs right now. He has, like... He has, like, two jobs. I think maybe three jobs right now that he's working. So he is not... He is not doing any streaming right now. So far, not one stutter, so I think it might have just been too many people. Yeah, I... I you know, Kenneth, I had a feeling it was just a over... It was overwhelmingly more people streaming on YouTube as well as Twitch, so... I think you, I know you've explained it before, but you could explain it again why you drink teas down to point zero one capacity. So, for birch bark teas, you don't want to do this, or coffee or herbal tea. Um, the, the burdock tea, which we're picking some burdock right now, but the burdock tea, the reshi tea, and the rosehip teas, the, the medicinal benefit you receive from them does not trigger until you finish the tea. And so if you take one of them and you drink it down to 0 0.01, I now have used up all the calories, the 120, 109 calories, and I've gotten water from it, and I've kept the last bit of it for curing my, you know, sprained ankle or moose stomp or whatever it is, whatever affliction I need it for. And it now only weighs 0 0.01 kilos, so it weighs almost nothing. So now I have a very lightweight painkiller that I can carry around with me that that takes care of me. And same thing for the the mushroom teas and the burdock teas. Um, you can drink those down and still get the medicinal the medicinal benefit um, off of it when it's done. Now, the reverse is uh, true for coffee birch bark tea and herbal tea the more of the of those three that you drink uh the better benefit you you receive so you want to drink those as much as you can you don't want to leave you don't want to leave uh you don't want to leave any of those any of that behind because you get less benefit from it uh so that's me that's why i drink them down to the little tiny bitty bites like i do What's the second most annoying affliction? Uh, sprains are just annoying. I mean, cabin fever is annoying, but sprains are almost more annoying in some ways. It always seems to get be that you get sprains whenever you don't want them. <laughs> That's why I do like the crampons. The crampons are really nice. Bro broken ribs are okay, but... I mean, broken ribs are kind of a pain, but that's a very avoidable thing. It broke broken ribs you you kind of you kind of get what you deserve with that you gotta go wesley hey have a great rest of the day have a great rest of your holiday as well wesley thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with us and for watching the videos on youtube i appreciate that very very much my friend all right let's just get kind of warm in here we're gonna we're gonna be uh fighting off some cabin fever here soon if we don't let's go ahead and drop our Intestinal parasites, again, is something that's annoying, but when I think of annoying afflictions, I think mainly of the afflictions that I cause on myself. Intestinal parasites, I generally try to avoid ever getting. <laughs> that, that's, that's one that, that if I don't, you know, if I don't do certain things, I know I'll never get intestinal parasites. 
So here's here's an easy way to never get intestinal parasites. Never eat bear or wolf meat before you have level five. Before you have level five cooking, never eat the bear or the wolf meat. You just don't want to do it. Yeah, it's just it's it's it's, it's not good for you. Prior to the artwork challenge, I've, I I chowed down on raw meat, thinking it was cooked. Oh no, the artwork changed. Yeah. It, they've they've really done a good job now, Sturgle, giving us a better indicator of what's cooked and not. Is there an affliction if you drink unsafe water? Yes, it is called dysentery. Um, usually I've not got. I, you can drink unsafe water and not get it all the time, but dysentery is kind of a pain in the butt. Literally, I'm not even talking. It is literally a pain in the butt sometimes. Intestinal parasites, though, struggle. I just feel like that's such a, it's such a avoidable disease because you don't have to eat bear or wolf meat to survive in the game. Um, sometimes you do, but generally you don't gotta. So I would just avoid eating the bear and the wolf meat as much as you can before you get level five cooking. Once you get level five, you're fine. And the nice thing is that once you get level 5, any bear or wolf meat that's in the world is now safe for you to eat. It's not like it's not like you have to go find new bear and wolf meat. You can cook up all the bear and wolf meat you want and and you know, and and once you get level 5, you're good to go. Now, it, yeah, it used to be it used to be you could accidentally eat a piece of raw meat. It's a lot harder to accidentally eat raw meat these days. A lot harder. Um, you, you used to be... It used to be that eating raw meat accidentally was kind of a thing that happened a lot more often than we'd like to admit. <laughs> a lot more often than we'd like to admit. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that! Oh, look! Oh! Oh! No power in the verse can stop me. Thank you, Red5, for the host in the raid there. Thank you for the follow, Brooklyn Bella. Thank you for the resub, Red5. Go check out Red5, boys and girls. Playing some long, dark, baby. One of the members of our Pause Fellowship stream team. Thank you for that host and raid, man. I've got my, my beautiful Red 5 Gaming Red 5 v Pause Fellowship mug right here. Months. The Red 5 Gaming mug right there. Been doing some of the echoes. It's been fun. The mine is huge. Yeah, the mine is, pre the mine is pretty big, ain't it? That's a, that, that mine's no joke, man. That mine is no joke. But Red 5 is in the house. Thank you, everybody who's coming over from Red 5's chat. Welcome into the stream. I'm Athenon. I play a variety of survival style games. Um, the main one I play, Tommy, how you doing as well? The main one, of course, that I play is The Long Dark with over 6,500 hours playing it. Right now we are in Ash Canyon on day 48. We just got Cooking 5 on day 47. Uh, we have actually officially lived 47 days and we have spent um, six days in Ash Canyon, four in Forlorn, four in Timberwolf, Three in Desolation Point, 14 in Coastal Highway, seven days in Pleasant Valley, and six in Mystery Lake. We have killed now 18 wolves, two bears, two deer, and 16 rabbits. And we've now survived 27 blizzards. And in that time, we have found one can opener, which is the most important, the most important stat of all is the one can opener. One can opener, boys and girls. All right. Let's get some sleepity booze. And uh, I think I've Red 5 already got a shout out, but I'm going to give Red 5 another shout out here because it was kind of happening while we were doing the sub dance. And thank you, of course, Red 5, for the 14 month resub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Go watch him play some uh, Fortnite on his channel. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of good PUBG clips of me out there, too, man. So I'm right there with you, buddy. Uh, let's drink down this these last couple of teas here. 
there's a tea there. I'm gonna drink all these down to little bitty bites so we can save them for later. Yogita, hello, hello. How's it going? There we go. You know, Red 5, it was good. We got I got to spend some time with my family. Um, We got to chill out and just kind of, you know, spend the time together, open some gifts. Got some, oh, Jesus, criminy. <laughs> Red 5 gifting out five subs to the community, Red going out to Ogre, Sunshine subs. Faith, Brand Flakes, Little Blind Mouse, and Purple Azumi. Welcome into the AF pack. Oh my goodness gracious. Welcome, welcome on in, everybody. Oh my god, that is that is crazy nuts. I gotta change that uh I gotta change that. There's the there's the sub hype I was looking for. I gotta change that uh that 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 uh hotkey that I have there. But welcome into the AF pack, everybody. What region is more noticing annoying? Bleak inlet or black rock? Goose poo or duck poo? Which do I not like more? Um, I'd say probably Black Rock is a little more annoying to me than Bleak Inlet. Just because in Bleak Inlet, the wolves, the timber wolves don't have, they don't run as far with my arrows as they do in Bleak Inlet. Or as in Broca, in uh, Black Rock. I, te I tend to lose more arrows in Black Rock than I do in Bleak Inlet to the wolves. Because in Bleak Inlet, the wolf can run over a hill and you will never, ever see your arrow again. It's just gone. And he'll go die up on a hill behind a shelf that is hidden by a tree and you'll be like, where the hell did he go? And so I think Ble I think Black Rock I probably like less than Bleak Inlet. So that would be my answer. That would be my answer. All right, well, boys and girls, we're going to wrap up the Long Dark segment today. I was gonna, I'm gonna do a little, we're gonna play, we're gonna still keep going though. We're still gonna keep going. Uh, we're just gonna be switching over to the infected. I'm gonna take a short little two minute break. We're gonna be switching over and playing a little bit of the infected for a few hours. Uh, both on YouTube and Twitch and Kick. We're just gonna keep it going. And then I'm gonna go out and do a little drive in the night. Uh, the infected is a first person survival game as well. Um, it's, it's, it's fun. It, it has a really good, uh, it, it's really, it's, I, I find it to be a lot of fun. I find it to be a lot of fun. But we'll be back with Long Dark on Thursday, 9 a.m. to noon again, Pacific Standard Time. I got to change up some stuff here. I know, I know, Yogita. You came in just at the wrong time. But thank you, everybody, for coming by for Long Dark. I do appreciate that very, very much. The, infe the Infected's good, though. I mean, The Infected's got some good stuff. I, I need to change up the stream titles here real quick. But hold on one second. Need to change it on YouTube as well. Uh, let's see. Edit video. There we go. Because we are changing it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. They'll still have the long dark thing on the front page, but that's okay. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to just take a quick two and two, and I'll be right back, boys and girls.
Alrighty. Oh, camera, I guess I can do that. I went and got myself some of my cookies. These are the cookies that I made. These nice, large, like, sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Yum, yum. And I made some smaller chocolate chip cookies as well. Yummy, yummy. All right, we're going to load back into our Ath World game, which we're actually pretty far along on. Is he infected on Xbox? I don't believe it is. I believe it is a Steam-only game, Jordan. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is only on PC. I don't think they actually have it on, on like Xbox or anything like that. So this is our little house that we built. Um, okay, so we got the grinder going on here. Uh, we got sand and stone segments. Uh, right mouse click to take all items. Well, that's a lot of stuff. That's a, oh wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of sand. That's a lot of sand, boys and girls. I gotta see what I have here. Oh, whoa, he freaked me out there. Um, yeah, that's a lot of sand and a lot of iron fragments that we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some iron fragments in here. Can I put these in? Oh, I can right-click and put them in. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and put some in here on our for our forges. So basically, this game is a survival game set in an apocalyptic world where these, these guys called the Vambies that run around and do stuff to you. You can actually put markers on the maps now, which is kind of nice. This is our map. This is this is where we're at right now is down over here. We're, we're down over here. Each one of these X's is a cave. You can put a mine in. Uh, everything you see here, we built because you start you start with literally nothing in the game. Okay, let's move over here real quick. Okay, there we go. Let's get this iron put in here. There we go. We'll store all the iron. Um, I got a ton of sand on me. We need to find. We need to have like almost a box that's just for sand. Um, how hungry am I? I'm not that hungry at all. Let's just put let's just put most of our sand in here. That'll come in handy when we want to make concrete and stuff. Yeah, we'll put the rest of the sand. Can I just can I put everything in there? Um, nope. I think I can just do that. I don't think I don't think there's a way to get everything to go over in one in one place. Let's put those in there. Let's put the. Don't I have bandages in one of these? There's my salads. Let's see, what do we have food-wise on us? Oh, I have a couple of I have a couple spoiled foods on me. Got a little meat there. Let's throw the spoiled food. Where do I want to put the spoiled food? Let's put the spoiled food in here for right now. I do have one can of food that'll be gone in 12 hours, 13 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours. Alright. Okay. So this is our this is our this is our little place. I'm gonna jump up here on the rock we can look at our little kingdom a little bit better up here so we built all this we built a little palisade around we built our little greenhouse down there we actually have started we actually have started making power for our stuff and uh we have a barn over here for our chickens and our goats this is a house for mike we actually found the there is actually a guy that you rescue and you heal, and he becomes your helper. And his name is Mike. And he's a very nice guy. Ooh, I got a bottle of goat milk in there. Okay, so we got adult chickens in here. And we could we could butcher him if we wanted to. We got some males. It's not letting me butcher it. Is it is it glitched cuz I It may be glitched cuz this is an older Wait a second. What did what was it saying up there? Please use stone or iron axe to butcher animals. Oh. So we have to have the iron axe. We have to have a stone axe or iron axe on us to butcher them. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So that gave us some um, some raw chicken. Cool. 
The chickens are like, ah, they ki he killed one of us. Got some meat in there. Looks like Mike's doing okay on the meat. I think... Really? Really? Um, can I put my... Can I swap my trank arrows in there? Let's see what else we have. We have our spear. We have our bow. We tranked him. Pick it up the rooster. Oh, it's a rooster. It's not... It, oh, yeah, they changed that, didn't they? I remember them saying something about changing the... Changing the... Uh, uh, the way that works. That's really interesting. So now now, now they actually have roosters. Because they used to just be general chickens. They used to all just be chickens. They used to not have really any... They didn't discern between the two. We do need to go wash our hands. There we go. What do we got going on in here? Oh, yeah. Mike's taking care of all this now. Yeah, Mike. You go, Mike. Mike's taking care of my entire garden now, which is just awesome. So whenever stuff gets growing there, I'm going to actually take a pumpkin. I'm going to add that to the... Actually, I think I, I, think I, have, to, uh, I, think I have to harvest it first. Yeah, there we go. That adds to the food in there. I don't think no chicken. I can't add into it. I can only I can only cook the chicken, which is kind of sad. Uh, is that meat all dried? Nice. I don't think I can dry. I don't think I can dry the chicken meat. No, I can only cook the chicken meat. So that's clean water in there. What do we got in this one? Clean water there as well. Let's drink that. Okay, let's go get some dirty water. We'll, we'll get some water purified while we do this. Boop. You can drink the dirty water, but it will kind of hurt you a little bit. So, so how's our how's our uh, power uh, consumption going here? Is this on? That is on. Okay. Grinders taking a hundred. We got 144, 143 power stored. Power in, power out. So we're we're kind of losing power, it looks like. But that's we only have four wind turbines, so. We have no solar panels and we have no generators. And we haven't found a trader yet either. There's a trader in the game that you can actually get items from. But we haven't I haven't found him yet, so. We're going to have to find him sometime. What are we wearing clothing-wise? We got our... That on, that on, that. Okay. Let's grind our spear back up. Sharpen that spear. I'm going to move myself just a little bit up here so you can see all the stats there. Um... That's my upgrade tool. I'm going to swap that out for my pickaxe. There we go. Now, the way that technologies work in this game has changed over the years. It used to be you would find pages that would give you tech certain technologies. Now you just find pages that give you technology points, and then you can choose whatever technology you want to get. The grayed out ones we've already learned. The ones that are not grayed out, like the water house, we haven't learned yet. We haven't learned the oil pump tech. We haven't learned the sink tech, the gas tech, the oil extractor, the metal stove, the lamps, and the fridge. We haven't learned, earned, learned those. And so we don't have those unlocked yet. Now we can build ourselves a, a mixer, which will allow us to actually make Oh, yeah, that'd be great to be able to make concrete or cement. Yeah, the sink is really nice, actually. We got the grinder. And we got that. The mixer is probably the thing I want to do next. I need electrical parts, iron, screws, and mechanical parts for it.
think I'm, I think I'm just going to put it right over here for right now. All right. There we go. And then I need to get electrical and mechanical parts. Let's see. Do I think I have some of those. I only have two electrical parts. I only got two, and then I got mechanical parts here. So I need I need some uh, I need electrical parts. I think I think I can actually make electrical parts. Can you make electrical parts? I'm pretty sure I can. Let's look at our let's look at our crafting here. No, actually, let's look at our I itempedia. There we go. Oh, there they are. Electrical parts. I need a copper, plastic, and a cobalt. And I do it on the advanced workbench. So I need a copper, a plastic, and a cobalt. I have plastic, so I can do that for no problem at all. Uh, cobalt. Do I have cobalt? I have some cobalt ore. And then I have copper ore. Yes. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get that cobalt smelted down first. Let's go ahead and get all these lit up. Get my forges going good. Oh, that's nice. If you double click on it, it puts everything into it now. Oh, that's a nice feature. It used to be you would have to click. You had to click every single time you wanted to put something in a bin. You'd have to click on it. But if you double click to place it puts everything in there that it can that's a great feature hey yeah i can't see your today's long dark video on youtube it's this video right here victoria just uh just rewind it it's not it, it, it it's go it's still live we just we just switched it over and started streaming that we just switched it over and are playing this now just rewind the video and it's right there the first three hours of the video are all long dark. And then I'll be splitting it up later after after the live stream's done. After the live stream done, we'll just we'll just I'll be splitting it up between the two games. So come on, get a thing get done. I need that iron too. There's the iron for us. All right, I'm just going to take everything from it. Put those in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Yes, go watch past me. Let's go ahead and put this fire out. Let's go ahead and put this one out too. There we go. Ooh, that's that's nasty. Okay. Burda, 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 burda. There we go. And then I need I need screws as well. So I got ten iron ingots there. Uh, we can put this out. We can grab our grab our chicken off, and then we can put this fire out too. Oops, oops. I forgot that one doesn't go out automatically. You actually, have to say yes. I want to put it out. All right. So we need to split one of those off. We need a plastic. A cobalt and a copper. And then we'll craft as many of those as we can. There's four electronic parts for us. And then we need screws as well. Let's grab the screws. Oh, I need the iron ingots still. I was like, what am I still missing? Oh, more iron ingots. Yep. I'm missing 10 iron ingots, so I need to get more... You get more stuff from here. Gosh darn it. My three hours younger me, yes. I was younger by three hours. Yeah, I need more. I, I, as, as usual, iron ingots are the thing I need most of. So far, we haven't been attacked by any Vambies, which is nice. Where is my lead? There we go. Perfect. No, you go there. Okay. Ooh, 
We'll sort of do some of this the old-fashioned way. Just to get this done. I guess I will relight re these again. Put those in there. There we go. Yeah, I need I need a whole I need to make another I need to make another box. Um storage, there we go. Make another storage container here. There we go. We'll make we'll make a couple. I need some uh, I need some uh, planks for it though. Have this thing crank out some more planks for us. How are you doing on fuel? You got plenty of fuel. How are you doing on fuel? You are almost out of fuel. And actually, I can turn you off. Because I don't need you to gather any more stone. You've got clay coming. That's great. Did I leave anything in this? No, just gas. Okay, perfect. All right, there's it. Whoa! God dang it, Mike. You scared the crap out of me there, bud. Scared the holy bejesus out of me. Stop doing that, Mike. You're very mean. There we go. I mean, I know you're trying your best, Mike. You're doing a great job. I'll, I'll give you that, bud. You're doing a great job with all the stuff. But still, bro. Still. Actually, I'm going to put these in the smaller furnace. There we go. And then we'll put that there. And then I'm going to douse this real quick. Just so it's not using fuel. And then we got... There we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, can I not change the name now? Um... I need to move this somewhere that it's going to be out of the way. So let's go ahead and let's move this. Let's move that. Let's move the mixer right down here. There we go. Um, this fire... I'm going to kind of move it right there for right now. Oh, it got the, it took the water out of it. That sucks. I made that water there on I made that water there special. I wanted I wanted water there. All right. Well, that's okay. Fine. Be that way. All right. Let's go ahead and get the sand in here. Cuz yeah, I need to get I need to get all this sand. I just need to get all the sand in its own little box. I have a I have a lot of sand. I might even have to make two boxes of sand. We'll use a lot of the sand when it comes to concrete, but for right now we have more sand than we need. And the grinder gives you a ton of sand, so. There you go. I'm just getting all of it cleared out. Perfect. We got sandy beaches going on. All right, let's pick that crate up. Um... What's in this crate? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a few things. Okay. All righty. <laughs> that's it. That's a couple. That's a couple things in there. I think I have another. 
Don't I don't I have some more rotten food? Yeah, I got another rotten food here. So we can make a uh we can make a biofuel. We'll do that real quick. So they're baddies uh, so the baddies are zombie bandits. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. They're just they're just zombie bandits that kind of run around the world and make fun of you and uh attack you every once in a while. They're really fun guys. Look at all that stuff he harvested for me. Mike, you're you're the Chad, Mike. Oh, do I have no more room? Let's eat that. Eat that. Grab two more taters. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Um, okay, I need to leave these in here. Grab the onions out. There we go. And then we need to take that and we need to prep up some veggie mix for ourselves. I think, yeah, I had... I had two, I had, I, I, I didn't have enough cucumbers. I did not have enough cucumbers to do what I wanted to do. That's, that's annoying. All right, there we go. Now we're good. Now we got four veggie mixes. And, um, I think, I think actually I do want to make some, uh, stew mix, don't I? That would be really nice to have. Uh, actually, food. Hold on. Go back to food. Uh, the stew mix takes a raw liver, meat, a veggie mix, and a milk. I got a milk here, right? Yep, yep, yep. I don't have any raw liver, though. So that's going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just make a few veggie cans. I'll just make a few. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I'll make a few veggie cans here. Do that. Get this. Put that there. And craft three of those. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Mike. How's it going, buddy? Move that over there. Put those in there. I'll go leave some more, more meat in Mike's house. Now, I do have some milk there that I can use. Oh, did that say spoiled on it? Oh, spoils in seven hours. Okay, I was like, is that spoiled? No. No, that can't be spoiled yet. We'll go leave some meat in Mike's house. You gotta leave, you gotta get, you gotta give Mike some food. Otherwise, otherwise he gets a little, he gets a little uh, angry at you. There we go. I wonder if I put the chicken first. Does he eat out of this first container here and then go down? It looks like that's how he's kind of filling the containers. I don't know, though. It, seemed, it seems like the container fillment, fulfillment is a little random sometimes, which is weird. It's very strange. Let's see how our chickens and stuff are doing. Okay. So we got another bottle of milk there. It says he's 52 hungry now. Ramoin, how you doing? Oh, I don't just play Long Dark. No, I play a bunch of stuff. Today we're doing Long Dark and, and we're doing, uh, we're doing some, uh, um, we're doing some of the infected right now. Tomorrow, we're actually not going to be doing any long dark tomorrow. Usually, I take Wednesdays off, but tomorrow, I'm actually going to delve into a little bit of Icarus on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we'll be, we will be doing, we will be returning to long dark on Thursday. We will be returning to the long dark on Thursday, and then we will also, 
on Thursday. Hey, you see how you doing? Hello, hello. On Thursday, <laughs> I just repeated myself. On Thursday, we will also be playing some seven days or medieval. No, seven days to die. And then on Friday, we'll be doing long dark Dyson Sphere. Saturday, long dark medieval dynasty, and Sunday, long dark and escape the Pacific. So we got a bunch of stuff coming up this week. And I'm super excited. Super, super excited about it. Okay, so we do need for the for the stew mix. I need the meat, the raw liver, the veggie mix, and the milk. So I got the veggie mix and the milk. All I need is the meat now. There we go. I need to go hunt some more animals, too. Got my carts here to hold my animals in. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get our axe out. Harvest up this guy. Jimmy, how you doing? Hello, hello. And hi, UC as well. I hope you're having a great day. Let's wash our hands. And then let's go ahead and make up our raw meat. That. Now, can you actually, you know, you can't click on stuff there still. Raw liver and that makes our stew mix. Now that we have a stew mix, we can actually use that stew mix to make a ration, which we need a stew mix, a melon, three mushrooms, and two eggs. Let's go grab. I know we got a melon over here because I saw him harvest me melons. Woo! Let's go get a melon, baby. Melon time. There's a melon. Nice melons. And we need three mushrooms and two eggs. Let's look at our, our eggs that are going to expire the soonest. One hour, five, four hours, one hour. So, by the way, all the expiration times you see on things, those are expiring in real time. So, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, it, 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 so basically it's not, it's not a game time thing. It's actually in one hour, 41 minutes of me playing this game, this egg will expire, basically. Um, so, so you have that long to get things, like, taken care of. Oh, I am really thirsty. I am really super duper thirsty and I'm a little hungry for stuff too. Let's eat that and then let's drink our water. There we go. You can see our all of our stats over here. We got our overall health. We've got our stamina, our thirst. Then this is our hunger bar, but our hunger is broken between proteins, carbohydrates, fat, and vitamins. And this is our energy bar here. And then we have our sun resistance. And if any of these bars like start getting too low we'll start losing health basically so we and we don't want to do that we don't want we don't want to lose health losing health sucks so i need two eggs i need my stew mix a melon and my three mushrooms and i can craft another ration there we go now i got three ration packs which give us 25 thirst 100 carbs protein fat and vitamins back 25 energy back it also gives us 0.25 max health 0.25 max stamina boost 0.25 max thirst boost and 0.1 sun resistance you notice we have these little circles over here you can actually raise your overall stamina health thirst and sun resistance up above 100 every time you die you lose one point of overall health so as you can see i've died a few times i've died a few i've died a few times i've paid for it but you can actually get that get that back as well There we go. We'll get those drying. And um, I'm actually going to get some water out here. Really? I forgot I forgot that when you move a stove, it actually gets rid of it gets rid of the water that you had in there, which kind of sucks. And it got rid of the wood too. Gosh dang it. Let's grab a piece of coal. Put a piece of coal on there. That fills it all the way up. Bam, there we go. And we will put that out. Put our iron over here. 
We'll get our stuff put away here, and then we're going to look at making ourselves some concrete. Concrete takes quite a while to actually make. Okay, where did I put my bones? Were they there? There's my bones. Stone arrows, bone arrows. Okay. I need to get those arrows out, put the stone arrow, the bone arrows in there. There we go. You're exhausted laying in bed right now? Nice. Have they updated this again since I last played? They have not, no. They have not updated it since I last played. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some wire out. We got to get our upgrade tool handy to actually make the electrical, the electrical stuff work. Okay, wait a second. How do I how do I how do I add whole wire E? There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I just had to remember which way to do it. I I it's been a while since I actually did any electrical stuff in the game, so all I had to do was read the tooltip, and it told me. Look at that. Imagine that. You read the tooltip, and it tells you what to do. So we need sand and clay, and then it will go ahead and... Uh, um, there's clay. There's sand. You can only do 10 at a time, unfortunately. Wait, do I not have power to do it? Connected. Oh, there we go. Mix that up, baby. I don't know why I turned it off. That's weird. I definitely need more power, though. I don't have a lot. <laughs> right now, I'm losing 100 power. I don't have enough power. I need to get some solar panels built. I don't know what it takes to build the solar panels, though. Five iron, five aluminum, four copper, four cobalt. Do you need to build your home? Or you can pick any random house on the map and make it your base. You actually need to build your house. You do, you do need to build a house, yes. Um, just picking a random house will not do you any good. Because you can't build your stuff on it. You can't build, you can't build placeables inside random houses. It won't let you. I'm going to put four solar panels up here. We're going to need a lot of iron, though. We need 20 iron, 20 aluminum, 16 copper, and 16 cobalt. That's a lot. We're going to have to go over and get some of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this out. There we go. Let's fill that up. Take a drink. Fill it again. So iron, we do not have enough of. Cobalt, we have none of. Aluminum. I can I can get aluminum. I can I can get it fired up here. Light her up, baby. Let's get it going. I just wish you could add more. I wish you could add more sand and clay to this. I, I don't know if they allowed you to do that. Can you do it? No, you can't. You can't add more to it. Okay. Which kind of sucks, because you really need to be able to... <laughs> Having that thing just running the whole time is just not very feasible. And... You basically have to just sit at base to make concrete all the time. I mean, it's only every couple minutes that it actually fires off, but it's using up power, man. It's using up my power. I don't have lots of power to spare. There we go. We'll eat that. So the veggie salads give you a little bit of, uh, they give you plus 
0.05 max health and plus 0.05 max sun resistance. The fruit salads give you plus 0.05 stamina and thirst bonus to it. So you do get a little bonus from those, which is kind of nice. I'm going to take these meats out of here. Put this, that in there. I'm going to put the meat up here for Mike. So I, don't, I really don't want Mike eating my vegetables. I don't know. He may he may just start eating the vegetables though. I don't know. He, that may that may be his, his. They may. Oh, it looks like he ate the melons. You little bastard! You ate my you ate my melons. You son of a bee sting! You weren't supposed to eat my melons, sir. That little son of a bee sting. He ate my melons. That's not very nice of him at all. All right, I need the copper. I can get, I got 16 copper down there. Let's get the copper. But yeah, you want to build your house at, like next to water. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get the copper in there. That's steel. Let's get a little bit of iron out. I don't have any more cobalt, I think, at all. There is an aluminum there. I'm going to have to go get my cobalt. I have a cobalt mine going. Okay, so I need more copper, more iron, mo more cobalt. I just need more everything. Need more of it all. I do got a lot of stone there. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay, that's all smelting down. We're getting we're getting iron and sand from that. Discard all sand. Yeah, let's just discard the sand. I don't need the sand. I've got plenty, got plenty of sand. There's cement. Yeah, our power stored is really low. I think I'm actually going to. I need to actually have this going into a switch. What does it take to make a switch? So I can turn. I, I I'm gonna get so many things that I'm gonna need to have wall switches: iron, copper, and a screw. There we go. Was Long Dark recently updated? Uh, not super recently, no. I mean, it was the beginning of December. I mean, that's not... I mean, that's not... It's not like it was It was updated a long time ago, but it, it wasn't updated, like, super-duper recently. Oh, I need four screws for it. Okay. I thought I only needed a screw. There we go. Now I just need some iron for it, and we'll be good. Those back in there. I do have a little bit of cement, which is nice. It takes a lot of cement to upgrade stuff, though, so we're gonna need more than more than ten cement. That's for damn sure. Let's grab out the rest of this aluminum here that we have. Let's grab out a little more copper as well. There we go. The grinder's nice, but man, it takes a while to get stuff going. Yeah, we're down to five. Yeah, look at the, look at the power we're losing right now. Like new. No. What time of day is it? It's nine oh five p.m. So it's get, it's getting late. It's getting late at late at ladies night. Getting late at night, oh what a night. Oh, I missed I missed my jump. There we go.
Unfortunately, the bad thing about the, the solar panels are nice because they give you more energy overall. But at the same time, the solar panels don't give you... They don't give you as much energy. Um, they, they give you no energy at night. Uh, we'll call this one... Grinder. And this one... Mixer. And then what we're going to do... Need to grab my plastics there. There we go. So that one's going to go to the grinder. So I'm going to delete this line here. Oh, shoot. And shenanigans. That was not what I meant to do. Okay, that was not that was not intended at all. <laughs> well, yeah, that was great. Okay. Um so what we're going to do is we're going to actually build another wall there. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, that was not that was not intended at all. Uh we need three wood logs and four planks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I heard love stories from Twitch, but still feel really blessed. I'm not going to share who or where until I make an official announcement, though. Oh, well, that's fine. No, that's cool. Uh, I, that's awesome, Jimmy. Okay. Now, to upgrade, we're going to need to get our... Uh, where's our... There's our bricks. Um... Wall, wall, brick. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now we got our bricks going. Um, can I just can I just delete? Right mouse right mouse button to delete wires. Confirm. Oh, wow. That, oh, they deleted all the wires? Oh, you got to be kidding me. What is it? Doesn't the wall switch... So what, where does the wall switch go to? Okay, now now I'm really confused. Okay. Oh, so both those are basically doing the same thing. So that's just turning everything off. So it's just turning everything off and on. Okay, I, I was trying to figure out how the power, like how the power stuff worked for the game. Now I sort of know. Okay. So I almost have to have two of these. And then this. And then, uh, so, so this, this thing attaches to there. Okay. So I, I almost need to have two connector boxes or whatever those are. Because basically... 
That switch turns this on. Does it or does it not? Or does that turn this on? So that's turning that on. So how do I get this to turn back on? Now I'm really confused. <laughs> That turns everything off. Because now it's only doing... So it doesn't look like it's powering the mixer. It's almost like I need the mixer to have its own... Its own power. All right, we'll figure that out in the morning. <laughs> we'll figure that out come morning time. All right, you know what we're going to eat? We're going to eat a ration. And we just got an extra health point, which is awesome. We're back up to uh, 100 health that we can have maximum now, which is great. Okay, I think I think what we'll need to do is I think we need to build another one of those, another switch box. Cuz that one just has the grinder, switch connected, grinder mixer. Yeah, that that doesn't work. So I think I think we do need to build ourselves another uh We do need to build another junction box. We do have these all ready to go. That's perfect. All right, we're still we're still losing power at a dramatic rate. I did take my sweatshirt off. I have my new uh this is my new Firefly shirt that I got for, for Christmas. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice one. I like it. Well, I'm no longer playing Zelonga Darka. So more, no more Longa Darka. All right, I need the Cobalt. I do need more aluminum. I need some more copper as well. I'm going to get this filled up real quick outside. I have a whole bunch of stones right here. There we go. It's only 629 in the morning, so we got plenty of time today to do stuff. There we go. Get that going on. So is this still, that's still going? Okay. That's still going. Let's get rid of the sand fragments. I don't need those. So this is, this is not doing anything right now. What if I take, okay, so this, this is like almost out of power anyway. Well, we'll just let that run down in power until it's got no more. And yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay. Let's go over to our mine and grab some stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. 
I do not have much biofuel on me, though. Hold on a second. I need more biofuel. Wow, there's a lot there's a lot of fruit and veggies going in my in my place right now. We did get some new eggs, that's cool. I'm gonna leave the eggs and the milk in there for the moment. It's nice getting that goat milk finally. Um, let's see, I think don't I have regular oil around here somewhere? I'm pretty sure I do. There's some oil. Yep. Cause I think I can use I think I can use regular oil for the for the extractors, like regular cans of oil. Saw a corn back here, didn't I? I sworn I saw one. Yep, there's a corn plant right there. Harvest that sucker. Why not? Ow. Ow. Um... Is that a goat? That's a goat. That is a goat. Oh, let's get another goat. Let's get a let's get another goat. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> Hello, goat. He's the greatest of all time! Actually, I'll carry him around for a second. Let's go to our mine here real quick. We're so close to the mine. Let's go to the mine. Get the oil can I can I put can I put oil in it too? Yes I can. Yes I can. Okay. Power that on. I thought there was a way to transfer everything over in one fell swoop. But I can't remember how it's done now. I need the cobalt first. There we go. That in there. Power that on. That in there. Power that on. Take all the copper. Grab the goat. Get on the ATV. Ugh. Allergies are doing pretty good. Allergies are pre doing pretty good these days, so... Not too bad at the moment. It's another goat. <laughs> the goat's like, hey, you have my friend. Don't do that to my friend. I don't know how I don't know how I'm driving with a goat on my handlebars, but that's okay. There we go. Now I got three adult goats in here, all females. There we go, perfect. 
Yeah, let's go, baby. I got some copper and some aluminum and all that good stuff so we can actually, like, get some get some things going here. Uh, let's throw the copper in here. I thought there was a way to transfer all of it over. I mean, I know you can just quick click it like this, but I thought there was a way to get all of it out of your inventory at one in one fell swoop, but maybe I'm wrong. I, mu I must be wrong. All right. Um, okay. My son would turn off his alarm. That'd be great. I was like, what is that noise? There's this beepy noise in the background. What is that? It's my son's alarm. Because <laughs> he's still not up yet. He was, having a he was having a little too much fun last night, I guess. All right. There's some tranquilizer arrows. Let's put that in there. Let's grab a... Okay, so these are these are done. Those are done there. Get a little cobalt here. A little cobalt in the fire. There we go. Let's run up top and dump off a few of the uh nah. Okay, that just needs cobalt, iron, copper, and then I need five aluminum for that. Okay. Whoa, excuse me. Excuse me there. See where my weight's at here. Okay, that's good right there. Perfect. Oh, those are oh, those are actually iron fragments that are just in there. Those are those are iron fragments that I had going. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just fire these up again too, because why not? I mean, we we need to be smelting down as much as we can, just to get our just to get our electrical grid stabilized. Because right now we have we have a little bit of power going on, but not much. And the cement, I'm not I'm not even worried about the cement. We're still at negative thirty eight power though. All right, I'm going to throw the rest of the cobalt over here. Throw the aluminum down here. The iron put out over here. Let's grab the rest of our junk out of this thing. There we go. Do I even really want do I need do I need this extractor? I'm just going to power it on and let it let it extract what it needs to. This one here is no longer extracting anything, but I do want it to extract uh, extract more clay. So we'll have it doing that. I'm gonna sort of wait until those get done before I take them out. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the clay in there. Oh, that's that's a, that's a that's a hard walk over here. Oh jeez. Oh good god. All right. So I got the copper and the cobalt. I need iron ingots for that as well. Uh 3 of those is not going to make an iron ingot. There we go. Let's uh, H and take, and then make some iron ingots here real quick. There we go. Beautiful. Then we'll take the cobalt out of there, and the cobalt out of there. And we'll just get a few stones smelting. Perfect. Oh, how many screws do I need for that? I need six screws as well. Uh, seven, seven will do, and then we'll just split off one and put that back in the box. Perfect. All right, up the up the thing we go here. We might actually get some solar power going on here. There we go.
Okay, so we just need iron and cobalt now for everything else. We need two, we need eight, we need ten cobalt. And we need about twelve iron, so... Just iron and cobalt is, is the only thing holding us back at the moment from having our success. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have seven cobalt. But that's okay. That should get us two more solar panels up there. I think with the solar panel now, we probably have... We actually have a positive power flow at the moment. We aren't, we aren't using our... Um, we aren't using our other... Uh, uh, thing though the 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 power is always i found this game is all about power it's it, it definitely it screws you on the power consumption quite a bit you're always chasing power until you get that generator you can get a jet you can get a generator from the uh from the merchant and that helps you a bunch I hear you, Fox. I hear you, Foxy Lady out there. The game is power tripping. It is. Okay, so there's the iron there. I need two more cobalt and another iron ingot for that. Okay. And then I'm gonna need to. Uh, I'm gonna need to look at getting oil or something somehow. Cause yeah, we. Uh, we do not have we do not have a lot of oil not a lot of oil left now probably i need to look at making more uh spoiled food quicker like these things here are going to be gone in like an hour some of the eggs are going to be gone here soon the taters take a long time to wear down the quickest the, the actually the quickest thing you can break down is the watermelons Watermelons are great for uh, for being uh, trash. They break down in 30 game minutes. And we have plenty of them right now. So let's break them down. And then we'll just... Uh, and then we can do one more here too. And those will turn into rotten food for us very quickly. There we go, and then we can eat that. Yeah, I can make. Yeah, we just need to make compost. That's that's all. That's all we got to do is just make some compost. Let's eat some dried meat. Eat a corn. Eat another corn. Drink some water. What's that there? It's a piece of cooked meat. Okay. Fill up our water. Hey, Mike. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, Mike? Mike's like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this whole situation, Athenon. I'm very bothered by it. Okay, so that's done. Let's see if we can get some more power going up here. So I need one more iron ingot. So I need six more and I can complete two panels. And then I need three more cobalt and I can do that as well. But the cobalt takes a while to mine. So I got enough copper. That's fine. Copper's good. We had 10 going there. We'll delete that, and then we'll take the iron fragments. That'll get us a couple iron there. And that'll get us an iron there. And then we might as well do up one more copper there as well. Because why not? Excuse me. Excuse me, motorbike. Let me jump up. There we go. There we go. Now we got two solar panels up here. Great for getting power by the daytime. So where are we at on power now? Now we're at positive 45, which is awesome news. Because now we can go ahead and we can wire up our... We can wire up. No, no, cancel, cancel. We can wire this up. There we go.
Okay, why is that not... Why is the why okay maybe maybe this just needs to be moved It could just be it could just be a a glitch in the matrix Since I since I removed the wall I may have screwed something up There we go. Had to turn it on and then... Okay, so that works now. So now we're still getting positive power. We have positive six power now. And we're running both the junction boxes now, so... We'll call that one the mixer. And we'll call this one the grinder. There we go. So we got the grinder and the mixer going on there. Excellent. This takes what? Like all it takes like three minutes for that to actually get fully going. What did I hear out here? Was that a pig? Excuse me. This is why you build these around here. So these guys just run into your stuff. Damn little bastards. Now, now, now I'll have to repair all that, which is going to be a pain in my butt. Let's go grab our repair hammer. Go get our stone hammer. Oops, sorry. Let's go put our upgrade tool away, get the stone hammer out. And I think we're gonna need. I think it's. I think it's some planks. I think it might be planks. It also might be sticks. So I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. I for, it's been a while since I. God dang it! He scared the crap out of me again. It's been a while since I repaired these. So let's let's see what we got here. Let's go grab this arrow real quick. Oops, I wore myself out. It is sticks, okay. Spiky, spiky, spikies. There we go. Yeah, I can definitely jump over most stuff, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know if Red 5's still around, Purple Azumi, but yes, Red 5 gifted you a tier 1 sub a little bit earlier, which is super nice of him to do. Okay, so there's that. Let's grab another bunch of that and that, and put that and that in there, and mix it. Oh, it does turn off after... Okay, it turns off after it gets done, so that's nice. Now, see, we've got that. So if we take our upgrade tool. Oh, that's a pig. No, 
Nice. A good, a well shot, well placed arrow there. Well shot, sir. Well shot. I'm here, and you're welcome. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get going in town here pretty soon, and see what we can see. Bow and arrow. There we go. I need to get one. I need one. I need one more. One more goat for my goat menagerie here. Um, I do. I will need an. I will need another liver. I'll get that off of the off of the uh, boar. But for right now, I just want to get Mr. Goaty Boy into the into the barn here. This will give us our fourth goat. There we go. We got our fourth goat in here now. Oh, we have no food in there. Oh, snap a doodle, snap a doodle day. They like onions, right? They like onions and cucumbers and corn and stuff. My poor little animals, I was starving them. I was starving the little buggers. Now I feel bad. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the uh, I will do the liver here after after a little bit. I may I mainly just wanted to get the pig down because that gives us nice crispy bacon. And there is actually a there is actually an item that we can craft that I believe takes bacon. I think there's actually, yeah, a bacon pie mix. There's a bacon pie mix and we can make bacon pie. And bacon pie just take, make it on the stove. But the bacon pie mix, we have to have raw bacon, egg, milk, and veggie mix for it. So we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely be checking that out here soon. Let's go ahead and eat this, eat that meat. Take a drink of water. The goat kept crying out to me. Yeah, the goats like to cry. All right, what do I have Mike set on? What are his, go what are, what are Mike's tasks right now? Take care of, uh, uh, plant beds, repair stuff, replenish stone crates, uh, replen replenish log stands. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him hit the log stands here. The stone crates I don't care as much about. The 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 other the other uh, the other things I care a little bit more about. So get the sticks back there. Grab all those, put some more in. I keep forgetting I have I have these items here I need to keep uh keep doing. There's just so there's so much stuff to do. There we go. Get a little more concrete out. I'm like the I like that you can right click and get those put between the two now, which is which is super nice. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and put away our electrical wires. Go ahead and put away the nails. You get some biofuel off the zombies, which is nice. Go ahead and put away the fat and those uh, band extra bandages. Oh, I have another aluminum here. I didn't realize I had another aluminum. Interesting. Okay. Let's go put the aluminum aluminum over here. The aluminium. There we go. We do need to go and try to get 
a little more cobalt. And then I need two more iron ingots for that and cobalt and iron for that one. But the good news is we're on the positive side of power now. Yeah, we're at like a positive 11 power with just what we have at the moment. So that's great. And this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is doing wonderful here. We're just going to go ahead and put these in here. I don't get as much with this. The grinder gives you a lot better return on your money, but... I might as well. I might as well get. It's a. It's a quick way to get a little more iron out of it. So. All right. We're just gonna let that fly for a little bit. Uh, I don't need the copper on me. Now I was looking at upgrading, so I need 15 cements to upgrade that. Six cements to upgrade the ceiling. So now we have some concrete ceilings going on. There's another solar panel for us. Then we can get then we can get uh then we can get con concrete foundations going on for this as well. So the cement is going to help us out a lot. Let's grab our um, pickaxe from here. So we can go back and grab a little more cobalt. It's all about the power right now, boys and girls. The power, the tower of power. All right, there we go. Those are almost done as well. I think I'm actually going to extinguish this one. And then I'll extinguish this one as well. And this one. There we go. This way we can just store those in there. I need I actually need one more iron ingot, but we still need we still need cobalt as well, so not gonna sweat it too much. Uh let's go ahead. Uh, I got my regular arrows. Get our regular arrows put in there. What time of day is it? Oh, it's only 4.15. Okay. What do we have in there? Not much. You, excuse, excuse me, sir. All right, we need to make a plan here. Um, I really haven't searched these over here. I think I want to head out and search this, but I'm going to have to make a long ways around to get to that. I know I've searched that there. I know I've looted those. I'm not sure about either of those, though. We could go down and just kind of make this loop here. If we go to the left and just follow it around, that would probably be a good way to go. I haven't found the truck or the trader yet, so I'd like to find those guys eventually. Let's grab a little bit of cucumber. Let's harvest a little bit of pumpkin. Some travels, travel food there. Our sun protection's getting hit a little bit today, but that's okay. We're right, we're right down here. We're just gonna keep following this road around. I'd like to find another place that we could, uh, that we could explore because I'd love to get the oil the oil drill technology would be really nice to get. That's one that I don't have yet. 
the oil extraction tech. And it'd be nice to find the trader, and it would be nice to... F There's a truck in the game as well. It'd be nice to find that truck in the game if we could. I only have foliage density set to, I think, high. I don't have it set on, like, the maximum setting, which is, like, very high. But you can set the full the, you can you can set the density of the foliage even higher than I have it right now. All right, we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna take a right. Correct. Yeah, we're going to go down here and take a right. Okay. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, buck, chickens. I haven't seen any bears for a while, which is kind of nice. Oh, that was a that was a nasty little bump. Oops, then we need to take another right. We've already been down that way. Now, the areas, these town areas that, are, that I've marked as looted, these ones here, they do respawn with more loot. But the main reason you want to mark them looted is that the tech pages you can find in the towns only spawn there initially when the game is launched. The tech pages, the tech pages, once you've looted those, you've looted them. There's no, there's no like going back to re-loot them again. Hello, Mr. Deer. So it's good to mark the towns that you've already got the tech pages out of. I probably I haven't done... I, I may have looted these towns here. I'm not 100% sure. I don't need the bark chips. I'll take the egg, because why not? It's an egg. Alright, up here I'm going to want to just keep going straight. I do not want to... do not want to take the left. Yeah, we still got time. It's only 5:44. We got like four hours till nightfall. We can we can loot up we can loot up up here. I we'll want to take a right at the next intersection. I honestly, the one thing I w I hope they do in the future is I hope they put more wandering mobs in the game. Most of the mobs are all centered around the town areas. Uh, unless they're ones that, like, attack you. But there's not a lot of, like, just random mobs just out in the wilderness. It's mostly... There's mostly, like, wolves and bears and a few other animals. But it doesn't really have a lot of... Unlike, like, Seven Days to Die, which has a lot of, like, just random mobs just walking around in the wilderness. I mean, I'm not even talking about having, like, a horde of guys or anything. I'm just talking about having some guys. Wait, what's my what's my shield? What's my shield? Is it I thought it was T, is it R? Okay, now I'm really confused. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. Okay, I went into battle. I okay. I went into battle not knowing what my shield is. Is it, is it T or is it R? Wait a second. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, crouch, run, look up, look down. Fire, map, reload, split items, block. It's T. Why, why is it not working? I'm hitting the T key. Why? It might be bugged. It it might it might be. Well, that sure sucks. 
Let's save our game. Yeah, that makes it that makes it really hard to fight stuff. Let's quit. Yeah, that, that makes it really hard to fight things. <laughs> I was like, why am I I'm sitting here hitting the block key and it's like, nah, no block for you, sir. Yeah, it may have it may have just been bugged rusty. You have to make your own shield now? What? Uh, really? Would have been nice to know that. Uh, so where where's the shield at? Shield. I need a plank and iron fragments. Okay, dokie then. Well, that that changes life a little bit. That would have been nice to know before I set out on this journey. Well. Yeah, that's a change. The latest update took away the shield. The late, yeah. So that, yeah, that's that's sucky bullcrap. <laughs> well, there's a change they've made, boys and girls, in the in the recent times. So I guess we're going back home to make a shield first. That almost cost me my life. Yeah, yep, I, I yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw. Got to make the make my own now. So let's go ahead and get back home and do that. That's just that's just annoying. <laughs> Cause you can't really, you can't go head, you can't go head to head with those, with the, with the bad guys. You just can't. They're, 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 they're you can't just stand up and tank them. They just do so much damage to you over time. You don't have, the, you don't have the capabilities to do it. Let's just put it that way. And you have to, they'll, they'll stand back and throw stuff at you. They have to block that with your shield. So this should be this should be interesting. I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, I don't I don't mind it. It's just like, oh, that sucks. If I had known that, I wouldn't have gone out. <laughs> Looks like they made it so you can actually accelerate and drive while your map is open, which is nice. That's that's a that's a good change. But how you doing, Tylea? Hello and welcome on in. I hope you had a good. Hope you had a good holiday, good Christmas. I brought home way too many goodies. Mine was good, Rusty. It was good. I had way too many goodies for Christmas. Way too freaking many. Almost too many. <laughs> and now I, I brought home a lot of them too. A lot of the goodies that I had, I brought home with me. So yum, yum. All right, take a left here. Whoop. You're still your parents for the holidays, so goodies are still coming along. Nice. You got yourself a Kaiser 3XL chair. Nice. Well, that sounds cool. Well, I hope everybody had a great holiday, a great Christmas. I hope you got everything you wanted and more. And more than anything, I hope you had fun, you know, with family, friends, whoever you spent the time with. Hmm. Now I'm just chowing down on cookies and treats and stuff from Christmas. I'm going to gain like 50 pounds by the end of the year, probably. But hey, that's okay. I'll work it off. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Actually, I need to go get some cobalt over here first. So let's go grab some cobalt real quick. I don't think that's enough. Gosh darn it. But hey, at least we can fill these back up again and grab the little bit of ore that's in them. Did I bring along my pickaxe? I did. I mean, I, there's nothing to fight in here, so I might. I mean, well, I, there are uh, there are scorpions to fight in here, I guess. But the things to fight in here are way less way way less annoying than the things to fight out there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a, one of those and get my health back. There we go. We're gonna gather a few mushrooms while we're in here too. Gives us a little bit of a lead ore. We can also get uh, some char some coal in here too. Mushrooms, we love them. This stone just spawned. Made myself a pork chop dinner with garlic, potatoes, broccoli, and, and cheese. Dessert was apple pie and apple cider, followed by white chocolate peppermint bark. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Huh, funny, I'm not seeing any scorpions in here right now. That doesn't make me feel confident I'll not find any, but at least there's no, no, no scorpions at the moment. Oh, that's so weird. Look at that. Look at that. I turn around and look at all the stuff that just spawned in front of me. Holy crap. It spawns it quick in this place. Good. This will give me some more coal, and it'll also give me some more lead. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind the rocks respawning quickly. That's. That's actually kind of nice. And we got more mushrooms, too. And still no scorpions to fight. Which the scorpions are actually kind of a pain in the ass to fight, so I'm not very unhappy. I'm not unhappy that I haven't seen them yet. So. Oh, there's one right there. God dang it. Why, why could he hit me and I couldn't hit him? That is so annoying. so annoying that I could hit and he could hit me and I couldn't seem to get to him at all he was like ha funny Athenon trying to poke me with a spear good luck there bud
There we go. That's what I want. I wanted that one more cobalt ore. That's what I was waiting for. Nice. What time of day is it? Oh, yep. Yeah, we got to get back. We got to get back home. Back in the truck up, baby. Back in the truck up. Mike just runs by. He's like, hey, guys, how's it going? I'm like, okay, Mike, I'm walking. I'm really heavy right now, okay, dude? I'm walking here. Mike's like, yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. I got you covered. Um, You know what? We should probably eat, eat. Eat. And then take a nice big drink. Fill up our water. Get some sleep. Whew, what a day. What day, what a night day. What a day day 40 was. Holy crap. There we go. Get up nice and early. We'll get the iron in there, the cobalt and that, and the iron in there. I've got a lot, of, I got a lot of stuff out here. I don't need, I don't need that. I need the copper and that, the cobalt, the copper. We'll get as much of that as we can on there. What is it? It's fall. So it's fall right now. Seasons do actually change in this game, by the way, which is really cool. Uh, let's get rid of the sand. Take the iron. Get those all going. Beautiful. Go ahead and get a little water here that we can get harvesting up. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Drink. Take what's left in there. We'll just we'll just boil the water here because that'll that'll just make it easy on us. I'm gonna dry I'm gonna dry another piece of meat because why not? There we go. Let's get our mushrooms put away in here. Where's our mushrooms at? Mushrooms put away in there. I hate that you can't swap things. That drives me nuts. Egg put away in there as well. Let's put the cucumber in there too. Let's go check our let's go check our barn here and see what we got going on. Okay, so I got two eggs and two things of milk in the barn, which is great. Got some of that coming on there. Got a few stones in there, but I don't really need the stones. Oh, there's a wood log here for some reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that wood log was just like sitting there. Like, hello, I'm a wood log. Don't worry about me. I take care of all these wood loggy things. There we go. I think we'll be able to finish off that final, the final uh, solar panel up here, if I can get up there again. There we go. There we go. Now we got our four solar panels going on. That's great. And then we can start building up some uh, extra supplies here. So we got cobalt there. We got 
iron ingots here. I'm going to set Mike to gather me more stones. There we go. Let's give Mike, let's give Mike, let's give Mike a new task here. He's been, we had him gathering logs, which we like him doing. You know, having Mike do logs is great, but now we're going to have him replenish stone crates. We just, we just work Mike to death though. I mean, Mike is, Mike is just like, a, he's just a hired slave for us. He just... He does everything we need him to do. I feel I'd feel kind of bad for him, but I just don't feel bad for him. How are we doing on power? Okay, power we're doing good on. We actually we're actually like keeping our power going. Oh, we don't we don't have uh we don't have anything going on here right now. Let's go ahead and add sand, add clay, and start mixing. Well, we're still at plus 30 power, so that's that's good news. Let's go ahead. Oops, I didn't want to put that in there. There we go. We'll get some copper going on. Then we'll just go ahead and put this copper back in there. We actually, we actually have iron ingots now, which is great. Because we've been very low on iron ingots for quite a while. Oh, you know what I you know what I need though? No, no, no. I need iron fragments for the shield, don't I? I it's not iron ingots that I need for the shield, it's the iron fragments, right? I need 25 iron fragments and three planks. Uh let's get rid of the sand, take the fragments. We need three planks. So now we can actually make a shield. Is that at the is that the advanced is that the at the advanced workbench or the regular workbench? Uh workbench, okay. There we go. And there's our shield. Oh, and our shield will actually wear down. Okay, so that's that's great to know that we'll eventually just lose our shield. Can you, can Tylea, do you know, can you actually repair your shield? Is that something you can do as well? There we go. Loverly. Let's see, I know I have some, there's, there's another one. One, two, three, craft, there we go. Did they update the game again? Yes, they did. They actually added, uh, you actually have to make your own shield now. It doesn't just, it doesn't just give you a shield, which I did not realize till we got to a area where I needed a shield and I didn't have a shield. I was like, oh crap, I'm hitting the button and nothing's happening. I was like, oh, snap a do. Gosh dang it. Dang nab you game. You fooled me again. So yeah, they, they, uh, they did change a few things around for sure. So what I need to find is I need to find the, uh, technology for the not the oil distiller the oil pump there we go i need that that's the next one i need i need to get i need to get a technology page so i can unlock the oil pump 
Okay, so I'm going to leave that in there. I have enough cans now to last me forever. I think once it's done, you will. It, once it is done, you will need to make another. Oh, another. Uh, um. Another shield. You're saying? Yeah, I think I probably will. composting in here as much as I can. There we go. The shield does look a lot cooler now. Yes, it does. It, it, the shield actually has a pretty neat look to it now, so... And we it does look like during the daytime we are gathering a lot of power with our four panels and our turbines. We are getting a lot of power. We do have some... We do have three batteries that, have, that give us capacity... Which is great. Alright, so I got some cement on me. Let's leave the cement in here. I got tons of sand. This is a this is a whole box of sand right over here, so we're good on sand too. Okay, so with all that in mind, now that we have our shield, let's sharpen up our sharpen up our spear. Bow's still in good shape, spear's in good shape. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello, sir. Oh, I can still move with all that on me. Excellent. Let's throw the lead. Actually, let's just throw the lead on here. Throw the aluminum in here. Throw our clay over there. There we go. Perfect. The shield ha uh, has to be made. I wonder if it'll give us a shield display to put our extra shields in. I don't know. Maybe. Un unless we can. Unless we can repair the shield. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to repa repair the shield or not. All right. Now we can go to town. <laughs> Now we can do what I was wanting to do yesterday. We can do it today. And we can go to town and get some stuff done. Look for some more look for some more pages. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh jeez. Oh god. Don't let me drive in games, boys and girls. It can be very 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 dangerous. I'm not saying I am dangerous, I'm just saying it can be dangerous. So where we're heading is we're going to head over to this little place there. And see what we got. I mean, we have a way to fix the. We have a way to fix the uh, the the, sh the the iron weapons with the grinder. I'm wondering if they'll give us a way to fix the armor and the shields and stuff down the road. I I don't think Tylea, There's no way to fix your armor in the game yet, is there? Once your armor actually decays or gets damaged down to zero. I don't think there's a way to fix it yet. They may put that in later on, though. 
This game, though, has come so far from when I first started playing it. When I first started playing this game, it was not... It was fun, but it was not even anywhere close to where it is now. They've done, they've done such a good job, like, updating it, adding stuff to it, working on the AIs. They've gone through several iterations with the AIs, too. They even tried werewolves at one point. They tried different, different like, zombie, like, different construction guys and all these other, we they tried boss mobs for a little while. Like, like, there was, like, you'd get, like, three regular Vambies and a boss Vambie in the same group. Which I always thought was a little odd, but it was like, okay. At least they tried it, you know, they tried some stuff. You can't repair the armor? Okay. You just have to make new stuff. That's sort of what I thought. I mean, it takes a while for the armor to wear down. It's not its not like it just disappears overnight. But you do pretty much have to make all of your clothing and all of your armor in the game. So Kevlar is something very important in the game. Let's go. Oh, and boys and girls, if you're watching on the YouTube side... If you want to watch the earlier part of the stream where we were playing some Long Dark, feel free to rewind the stream. The first three hours of the stream are all Long Dark. And then we got about another hour of Infected to go, and then we'll be... Then I'll be uh, logging off and going out and doing a little driving tonight. And then we... Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be actually starting on our new Icarus run. We're going to be playing some Icarus tomorrow. I saw you were doing that as well, Tylee. It's starting all over on your Icarus as well. I'm wondering what did that do to my shield? Okay, my shield's not too damaged. Yeah, see, like my hat's almost gone. It's got, it's got eight durability left. So that only took like two percent durability off my off my item. That's not too bad. <laughs> he bowed to me before he before he atta attacked me. He bowed to me before he attacked me. That was hilarious. I'm almost out of fuel on that thing, ain't I? In fact, I think I was out of fuel on it. Now I may I may have already looted this place. I don't. I'm not 100 sure. Drop your shield, buddy? What are you doing? You weirdo with no beardo? What the heck were you doing there? Can I actually pick your shield up? I want your shield and your sword! I want those! Why can I not pick them up? 
You bastard, give me your shield and your sword. I may have I may have already searched this. Now there's stuff in here, so maybe I didn't. Although I may have. I may have searched it in the past, I'm not sure. I do not need those. I am a loot monkey. I loot it all. It used to be that all the loot was just sitting out for you to see. Now, now you actually have to search things. Doesn't take you very long to search, but you actually have to search through stuff now, which is kind of cool. Hey, some Kevlar. I can always use that to make more armor. That is great news. I don't think I'm going to find any tech pages here, though. I just got this weird feeling... Some potato paste, nice. Little medicine kit. Oh wow, a lot of medicine kits. I got like five medicine kits out of that. I guess I could use one of those and just get my health back. Let's go ahead and eat that, drink that. Get a gas can out of there. There's a tater. Potatoes, ooh, some cooked ribs. I like I like some ribs. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Okay, I want to just get rid of that. There we go. Ooh, some more biofuel. I can always use that. All right, let's grab. Let's let's throw some stuff in our. Let's throw some of this stuff in here. Let's throw the potato paste, all the big items in there. Let's throw that in there too. Throw the uh, heavy items in there as well. There we go. And then I can chuck that rock on the ground because I don't need it. I've got plenty of rocks back home. The good news is that the the tech pages are really easy to spot. And I think I now that I'm thinking, I probably I think I probably have got the tech page from this area already. So this is like a this is like a reloot basically. Ooh, a melon, nice. Which is fine. It's not a bad thing to reloot places because that way you can get some of the some of the harder to get stuff, like these wires, so you, you don't have to make them yourself, which is always nice. Glass isn't super hard to get, but. All right, we'll go. We'll go hit up another little town here. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna go into our map. We're gonna mark this. How do you how do you create the create the map marker? Um, hello. Create map marker. Okay, I'm hitting the I'm hitting the right key, the right button. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, I get I guess I couldn't do it on myself. Hey, Wolf Eyes, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's add that in there and that in there. Throw the charcoal and the iron in there and the cloth and the oil cans and that. And uh, we can't throw that in there, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, I want to head... We sort of just want to head straight across here, don't we? Let's go straight across. They added this new biome in as well. They added this desert biome, which is kind of cool. There's a guave out here. There's lots of rocks out here. There's not as many trees out in the desert biome. Oh, we're going the wrong way, though. I'm going the wrong way, boys and girls. We need to be heading down this way. But yeah, they added this new biome, which is kind of neat. It's kind of nifty. They keep adding new things to the game, I think, which is kind of cool. They definitely... Whoa! They definitely have a good development team on it. 
Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, jeez Louise. George and Wheezy. Let's make sure I'm going the right direction still. No, I'm not. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. That's a tree. That's a tree. You can now put an extra check mark on the box, on the map, uh, uh, on the map of towns and stuff and things that you've looted. Well, that's what I did. See, there, I, I did that. I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to. I was trying to add it on to the actual town, but it wasn't allowing me. While I was sitting on the town, it didn't like putting a marker on the town. If that makes sense. It was like, oh, you want to put a marker in the town while you're sitting on the town? No, you can't do that, sir. No markers for you, my friend. No markers for you. Ow. Yeah, the, th the, thumbna the, thumbnail the thumbnail on there doesn't mean anything. Let's, uh, here, I just need to change the thumbnail. Hold on a second. Change to... I just, I just kept going. I just, uh, uh, Chriso, I just, uh, I just kept going with Long Dark. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll change it to something else. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I just did I just didn't stop the stream on YouTube today. Uh let's see. Can I change it to anything else at this point? Uh change. Uh no, it's just gonna go into that. Let's find a picture. Let's find a fun picture to put up there. Um There we go. I'll just put I'll just put a picture of myself up there. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Now it's just now it's just a picture of me. Don't don't know don't care. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I just I just I I don't I didn't have a graphic ready to just go back go into the uh go into the infected. So We start we started streaming with Long Dark today. So And then we switched over to the infected afterwards. Uh-oh. 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 I got two of them. No, three of them. Oh, crap. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Yeah, I just never I never got a chance to change it over after I started streaming, so. Um, okay, let's go ahead and add oops, let's get our let's get our nasty stuff taken care of first. Ow. There we go. Let's take a medical kit so we get a little health back. Perfect. But you know, yeah, now now it should now it should just have the regular the regular thing up there for us. So we should we should be good. Let's 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 just see let's see uh, if I go to live here. Yeah, there we go. It's just it's just got it's just got me. It's got me on there. It's got to it's a me. It's a me. That's it. It's just me. But yeah, infected is what we're playing. So there we go. There we are. Ooh, some lead and some Kevlar. I'm gonna shut this door because they, they they can open doors, but they have to actually open the door. Empty can. Ooh, a nice big first aid kit. That's always beautiful. Nothing in the toilet. Another tater. Potatoes. Another potato. Who leaves a potato in their bookshelf? Who does such a thing?
Ooh, a raw liver. Nice. I know what I'm going to be using that for. I know what I'm going to be using the cucumber for. hey -oh. Actually, I think I might just eat the cucumber. Let's see what food we have right now. I'm going to eat the ribs. I'm going to eat the cucumber. Um, I'm going to eat the melon. And then we're going to take a drink of water. There we go. There we go, baby. Yeah. Get a few more seeds. Oh, another melon. Nice. Who leaves a melon upstairs in their house? I don't get it. Who does that? Who freaking does that? That's a weight of two. Put that in there as well. Those are kind of heavy as well. 0.5, we'll put that instead. That's a steel alloy, actually. That's interesting. Okay, cool. I like it. We're still looking for tech pages. That's the main thing. I just want to make sure that I didn't leave any tech pages behind in these places. I mean, I'm going to loot up everything just because I'm a loot monkey and I like to, I like to loot all the stuffs. But the tech... Ooh, electronic parts we can definitely use. Some spoiled food we can definitely use. A fish fillet. A baked tater. Some potato seeds. And a watermelon seed. Wow, that was a... That was a juicy spot. More watermelon seeds. Some pumpkin seeds. A little corn. Another tater. Because taters are all over the place. Another tater sprout. Ooh, a cooked bacon. Let's eat that. Some more ribs. Ooh, I don't have any. I don't have any room. Holy schmackerels! I have no room for that. For seventy three nine five right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if we, I'm not, I'm re I really cannot remember if we got the, uh, I'm just going to drop the rope here. I don't need it. Okay, so we got a lot of iron ore. I'm going to leave the stone. I'm just going to drop the stones here because I don't need stones. Yeah, I can't remember if we got the tech page here or not. It seems like we might have. 7535. Um, let's drop the coal. I don't need the coal. I can get coal elsewhere. Let's take the glass and the clay, though. Now we now we got tough decisions to make, see? We're, ma we're making the hard choices now. There we go. Yeah, I think I think we might have already got it here. Run out here. Let's dump off what we can, so I can put that in there. Can't put the electronic part in there, but that's really light. Actually, the plastic's really light too, so we could stack those in there. That's actually really light as well. These just take up these just take up volume, not so much take up like weight. So we're just gonna we're gonna keep those on us. We'll put the heavier stuff in the actual. Oh, wow, yeah, the, gla the glasses, that's seven kilos right there. That's a weight of one. That's a weight of 1.4. I don't need the rope, though. The rope I can get rid of. There's probably a gas can in there, yep. Some more alloy in there, some clay in there. I don't need the plant fibers. Little health kit. Don't need that or the bone. I'm just get. I okay. There we go. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this stuff so it'll respawn. I do want the oil can though. Uh, let's eat the crispy bacon. The oil can and the screws I'll definitely take, and the nails. That's just freebies. 
Uh, I cannot take that. Let's go ahead and eat the melon. Take that and the tater. Take the Kevlar, the glass, and that. The mechanical parts for sure. The bones I don't need. The stone I don't need. The seeds don't weigh very much, so we'll just take those. I mean, I'm sure if I get enough seeds, it will weigh enough that I'll be like... I was getting rid of the splints. I haven't I haven't had to use a splint in so long. Um, can I get in the garage? Oh, there we go. I saw the first aid kit here and I was like, ooh, can I get in the garage? Okay, let's take the potato paste. Eat the little chicken leg there. Yeah, now's when we actually start to have to start looking at it and going, what can I what can I loot and what can I like leave behind? There's no quick organization for this backpack, which kind of sucks. <laughs> One one of the things I don't like about the backpack. Sit down, buddy. Sit down there. I got a piece of... I got an ore from him. I got an aluminum ore. He gave me, he gave me some aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum. Okay, we'll throw the clay in there too because that's kind of heavy. Clay soil's not. The bones really aren't. Okay, there's a guy there too. Got some feathers from him. I honestly don't think I've been here yet. I, I, it just, we were finding stuff that I don't quite remember ever like finding before. I want all of that because that's all biofuel. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's really nice. The eggs, I got plenty of eggs now. Fat I can take, the seeds I can take. The egg, I'm just gonna dump that. The reason I'm dumping these is because this stuff will respawn. These cases will respawn with stuff in them. And I'm not I'm not sure if they respawn with different stuff if you haven't like looted the items out of it. So I think that I think it only I think it only respawns new stuff if you looted it. Like looted it previously. If you don't leave anything in it. Otherwise it just has the same stuff in it. Okay, let's see. Let's eat the crispy bacon. Take that. That way we can always make another run over here and see what they have in sometime in the future. Not not right now, of course, but Ooh, that's heavy. <laughs> that's heavy. Oh good lord. There we go. And we're still heavy. And we're still a little heavy. Okay, now now we aren't so heavy anymore. But we don't really have a lot of... Uh, don't have a lot of wiggle room for weight any longer. So let's go check out the... See, we looked at all those houses. Let's go check out these last couple houses here real quick. See if there's any tech pages in them. The tech pages are just like a white piece of paper that you'll see very easily when we pick it up. All right. Although these don't weigh a lot, we're going to dump all these seeds here. I don't need them. And that's going to lower our weight down enough that we can grab other stuff. That we might actually want to take with us, like the dry the dry brick.
Yeah, I think I think we have been here before, so. Bully for me, I guess. Yikes. Okay, what else can what else can we sacrifice here? I don't need the bone shards. I don't need the potato sprouts. Okay, so we will definitely be marking this as a village that we have explored and gotten our got, gotten our uh That one has been looted now. Got straight across here. Woo! Oh geez, that's a tree. That's that's a that's a tree. That's a that's a that's a tree right there. There's actually a big there's actually a pond down here, which is kinda cool. I'm kinda curious just to check it out and see what it looks like. There's a little pond down here. Isn't that special? Tree. Whoa. 360. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big rocks. All I need is one more stinking tech page, man. All I need is one more stinking tech page. But I don't think we're gonna get it today. We're gonna have we're gonna have to travel. I think we're gonna have to travel up to like this area up here because I I don't think we've been over here yet. I don't I don't think I've been along this coastline yet either. So we've got a couple of different places we need to go check out and visit to get those last tech pages because you only get like. I think you only get one to two tech pages per town, and the, um, and they don't ever respawn. So once you've got a tech page in a town, you are gonna get you are gonna get one again. So disappointing, but hey, it's okay. It's all right. brought some cookies home. They're very good. Very, very good. We got a lot of good stuff done today, though. We got the... We got our power situation more under control. We've got a lot of power going on now. A lot of power generation happening. Still not quite enough to power everything I want to power ultimately but enough at least to power our grinder and our cement mixer so ideally it'd be nice to have two cement mixers going because then we could really get the we could really get that cement like up and firing get that popping off But this this day's adventure has been good. We've got, we're coming back with a lot of a lot of good gear that we needed. So a lot of good supplies and stuff. Ah! Crap. Okay. Almost home. 
I'm sure Mike will be busy doing his jobs that we have set out for him. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Still have not found the truck, which makes me kind of sad. We'll need a lot of stuff to fix the truck, but... Where's Mike running around? There we go. Let's just get out and get our inventory out of here. Okay, so we got three, we got three fuel cans in here right now. That's awesome. All right, let's go dump off some, dump, dump some gear in here. Winter name. <laughs> there we go. We'll just put that as supplies because that's got like our big supplies in it. We got glass in here. Got extra rope in there, too. What kind of metal is that? That's some lead ore. Iron fragments and steel. There's no steel there. The can stop me. Hey, I'm Eamon. How you doing? Hello, hello. Can you recommend a survival game like The Long Dark? Uh, there is no survival games that are like The Long Dark. <laughs> The long dark. The long dark has no. There. The, the long dark has no equal. Let's just put it that way. There is nothing that is quite equivalent to the long dark out there. Uh, there's other games that are good. Um, if you want like a jungle feeling one, uh, Green Hell is pretty decent. If you're looking for more like a desert one, there's one called Star Sand that is really good. Um, if you're looking, you know, I mean, I'm playing right now. I'm playing The Infected. Uh, Seven Days to Die is a fun one, but it has, like, zombies. Uh, zombies in it as well. But uh, Star Sand is pretty decent if you're looking for, like, a desert survival. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're looking for, like, an ocean survival, there's one called Escape the Pacific that is really good. Um, it's sort of, it sort of, it feels a little bit, like, stranded deep, but... It's not, it's still being developed. It's not like been abandoned and sort of garbaged uh, like Stranded Deep was. So um, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty decent, decent game there. Decent opportunity to have fun. Um, let's see what else is there. So those are, those are kind of my, my top recommendations would be Escape the Pacific for Ocean, Star Sand for Desert, and um and uh, green hell for like a jungle um a jungle survival uh there's really nothing else like the long dark though i mean the long dark is just such a such a the long dark is such a unique game i'll just call that leather and nails leather and nails but hopefully, the, you know, if ta I take a look at all those and see if any of those, like, catch your eye. Um, I don't think... It, I don't. I think... I think Green Hell is probably the most expensive out of the bunch. Um, oh, it's only 15 bucks right now. See, I'd recommend Among Trees, except they abandoned the game. Yeah, Green Hell's 40% off right now, so it's like 15 bucks. Escape the Pacific right now is under ten dollars. Oh yeah, they 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 they, they abandoned. Uh, Among Trees has been abandoned for a while. Uh, Escape the Pacific is under ten bucks right now, and uh, and Star Sand is thirteen dollars right now. Those are all the all three of those are on sale right now, um, and you know. If you want to pick up a really fun game, Subnautica is always awesome. It's 50% uh, off on Steam right now, so it's 15 bucks. So those those are all great. 
Conan Exiles is fun if you're looking for something that's really involved. Uh, it's not Conan Exiles is not a casual game though that you can just sit down and play for a little bit. You're gonna have you're gonna have to put some time, effort, and and uh, energy into that one. So, me personally, I'm not a big fan of Conan Exiles. I it just it just wasn't for me. But you know, hey, not everything's for everybody. So. But survival-wise, that's what I would point you towards, so. Let's go ahead and light this up. I have to start smelting those down. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I was like, what? what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's the problem, dude? What's the problem, bro? Oh, we're really thirsty. Yeah. That's the problem. How are my goats doing? Oh, my goats are awesome. My goats are the goat. They are the goats. Let's, che let's check on our animals real quick. Uh, they have no food right now, so they all are getting hungry. How long does this liver have? Eight minutes on the liver. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to eat that. Um, oh wow! So did I actually did I actually bird the chicken? Okay, I have two males in here. Okay, so we actually birds the chick. So let's get a let's get our axe out. And, uh, still got males, two females, and we got another female chick coming in. Our goats are doing well. Let's get our eggs put away. I don't think there's much more you can do with chicken meat, to be honest. So hopefully those those recommendations find, give you something that you'll enjoy. I can't guarantee you that all those are going to be great games for you specifically, but those, those are ones that I've found really fun, so... There we go. Get two eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. There's six more. You know, Project Zomboid is a great game. I'm not big into the isometric view games, though. That just... The isometric view just did nothing for me. I... I... I kind of... I kind of just could not... I couldn't do it. So, you know, if, if you... If you can do an isometric view game, if you don't mind that... It is a grand game, and you can you can have a lot of fun with it. So, are there any frogs around? Hello, frog birds. Frog birds. Frog bird. That's a stone. Yeah, you know, for me that that's that that view on a game is not is not what I enjoy. So If you enjoy that though, good. I mean, that's that's great that you that you enjoy it and I hope and you know and and I don't I don't think uh Oh. Row, row, raggy. Ow, that hurt.
Okay, that's spooky as hell. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad I had all the... protective stuff around my base. Without that, I'd probably be dead. That's what I need is a frog. There we go. I needed the meat from the frog. Okay, so what I need to do first is I need to get myself a a vegetable thing made. So I need to have a cucumber, a I need to have a cucumber and a corn and a onion and a potato. Cucumber, yeah, cucumber, orange, potato. There we go. So we got two and then one, two, three, four. There we go. I can make three vegetable, vegetable thingies. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, got that done. Oops, nope, nope, nope. And then for the, then for the mix, I need the liver, the meat, the veggie mix, and a milk. So I need the liver, which has two minutes left on it, the meat, the veggie mix, and the milk. There we go. And then to make our final thing, this is like the best thing you can make in the game. Uh, we now need a stew mix. We need a melon, three mushrooms, and two eggs. So we need to get a melon out of here. So Mike, you're not eating meat at all. That, that's that's what that's that's what I'm sort of like gathering here is you don't eat the meat at all. When you have another option, you just don't eat the meat. You whack job you. Okay. Three of those. Oh, three. Oh. Three of those. And we need a couple eggs. Let's see what let's see. Let's see where our eggs are at. Two hours, four hours, five hours. We got a two hour egg there. Four, three, two, two, two. Let's take the other two hour egg. Let's put those in there. Alright, so we need that. We need our three mushrooms, our two eggs, and what else? And our melon. There we go. Now we just craft crafted another ration pack. Yay us. Let's make a couple more veggie salads as well. Those are those are good traveling food. They do have nice ambient sounds in the game. That 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 I that I will grant them. The sounds of the thunder and stuff going on are really nice. All right, let's eat. Let's eat one of these. There we go. Put that in there. Get those out. I'm just going to leave all the lead in here because I don't need any more lead. I did get a cobalt ore, which is nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sand, take all the iron. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful thing right there. That is a lot of iron, baby. Oh, yeah. I like it. Let's put the plastic in there. Get our oil put down in here and our st and our nails. Of 
grab our concrete out of there. Mix that up. How's our power looking? Okay, we're at negative power right now because our our uh, solar panels are not drawing a lot of power with the uh, with the storm here. So, um, actually, you know what? I think I might need some of those to upgrade our spikety spikes out here. What the heck was that? Oh, jeez. God, Nate. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> Good lord, you scared the crap out of me, dude. <laughs> that was my... That's my son, boys and girls. <laughs> Scaring the holy bejesus out of me. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some water. that in there and then we'll get a little fire started here for it oh i don't have any fuel in there interesting let's grab a charcoal we can actually do two things of water going at the same time i didn't realize we were getting so low on water everywhere holy christ that is crazy all right so let's go ahead and get the fire started here That'll cook that chicken as well. Get a fire started here. That'll get that water. Excuse me, dude. Oh, I need to get a piece of fuel on there first. And then we can start the fire. Perfect. Oh, wow. Really? That, that, like, that, that, that did it up for me. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot I had all that stuff in there still. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's just dump, let's just dump these off. There we go. Okay, so that took care of all... That's how fast your cement goes. <laughs> that, that's all we could do with cement is just get those built. All we could do. Now, I think to upgrade... The spikety booze. Oh, I need 20 iron fragments for him. So that was enough to upgrade one. <laughs> that was enough to upgrade a single a single defense platform oh no uh oh did I did I screw myself here I might have screwed myself There we go. <laughs> I had to pick that one that one barrier up so I could just move. It, that took all my iron fragments for just one of those things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I can do two more with the iron fragments that I have right now. Or I can just make more iron. Nah. I'm good. Go ahead and just put that out. What is it? It's October now? Okay, it's October. Fall of October. That's it. That's all we can do. Yeah, so we're going to need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of iron fragments to upgrade all those. The thing is, though, that the more we upgrade them, the more durable they are as well. So that'll help us out in the long run anyway. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab... Oh, hold on. What? Let's grab that. Let's grab the glass. The iron ore. The copper. 
the aluminum, the coal, and that. Oh god, the walk, the slow walk. There we go. Cobalt put up here with the other cobalt. Cement put away. The glass put away. We're going to have to do something with the glass at some point. At some point we're going to have to figure out something with the glass. Get that steel in there first. I'm just going to put the iron in here just for the heck of it. Put the coal away. Then we need then we need to look at where we're gonna go today because I want I do want to find one more tech page before we call it a day I'm not I'm not willing to give up without finding another tech page damn it Yeah, now that the sun's out, we're at positive power, so that is good. Let's leave the cement here for the moment. Do I have any more stuff in here that I need to get out? Yeah, I need to get the lead and that out. I'm going to leave the other gas can. No, actually, I'm going to take the other gas can. I have a place for gas cans up here, right? Yeah, God, I got that huge croc skin in here. That damn huge croc skin. Let's put that gas can in there. I can probably put these items around the croc skin. There we go. Perfect. Those are almost done. We can put that out. We can put that out. A little bit of water. Um, what did I have? Oh, I got that iron. Yeah, let's just let's just leave that here. I got the I got some some food, a little bit of protein. Leave that here. We can leave these just to rot. That way we can have some more, uh, we can have some more uh, biofuel. Pumpkins are easy to come by too, so. Eat that. Okay, I think that just about does it. Yep, okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna head up to, uh, Head up to another point. I think we're gonna head up to this over here. We're gonna head uh, to the north and to the right at this intersection. And to be, and to be honest, I, I don't know if I've been over here either. I don't think I have, but I haven't marked it yet. So we're gonna double check and make sure. He's gonna double check it. If not, we'll get some good loot again. That's all, you know. Worst case scenario, we get some neat, neat loot. Best case scenario, we, we might get another tech page. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise.
back here, you little bastard. Don't get away that easy. Wow. I don't even know where his buddy went. His buddy just like took off. But he's like, peace out, sucker. Looks kind of like Matthias from Wintermute. Night outs, it does kind of look like him, doesn't it? It's like if Matthias went bad. Matthias, if Matthias went zombie land on us. Which is not a, which is not a pleasant thought. Let's just put it that way. October? Oh, shoot. October and it's fall. Okay. Okay, we're going the right way. Going the right way. Well, it's if he really went bad night out. If Matthias really went to the dark side, that that would be that would be what you would you know. That's what you would have, because you know Matthias he was a bad dude. But at least he was human, you know. You could kill him. He was you know he was bad, but you know. Now that he's an undead, it's even tougher. Puts him on a whole new level there. Probably is a cucumber here, too. Coming up on a town, we'll have two or three Bambis in here that we have to kill. Usually three to five in a town depends on the size Yeah, this looks like just a little little station. It's not even a it's not even a proper proper house, so to speak. Peter's almost worn down too. Which kinda sucks. Oh, there's definitely no tech page in here. Definitely no tech page. So we'll uh, keep going down the road here a little bit. Yeah, we'll go down the road. We'll take a left up here and head to the bigger city. Just hoping my spear holds out against whatever enemies we come against. I didn't realize my spear was so low. I should have probably fixed it before we left the house. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. I mean, we do have our hatchet, which we can smack him with as well. It's just not as effective and it doesn't have the reach on it. 
that the uh, spear does. One day, one day, I hope they let us actually like loot their weapons, because some of these guys have like swords and crap on them. I think we can. I think we can make a katana, but it'd be cool if we could loot their weapons up a little bit. That'd be kind of neat. Cucumber! A stone in that, okay. Don't need a stone. Uh, don't need the bones. I'll take that and the clay. Definitely take the Kevlar and the wires and the spoiled food. Take a... Moving him cans all day long. Spoiled food for sure. Ah, tech page. Yes. That's what we wanted, and now we can learn the oil pump technology. Heck yeah. Woohoo, baby. And a raw liver. Nice. We can make another, uh, make another, uh, beautiful ration pack. Sweet. Oh, that makes me so freaking happy. Now, there may be another tech page here in town. Surprised I haven't seen any Bambies yet. That's very weird. You notice how I see no reflection in the mirror. Maybe I'm the Vambi, and they are all actual humans who are just trying to, to repel me. Maybe, maybe I'm the bad guy in all this, in this situation. You never know. A Bambi? No, no, no. I, well, I could be Bambi, I guess, Phanthos, but I don't, I don't think I'm Bambi. My mother was not shot by a hunter, so... Oh yeah, they're down. They're down there. This t this town is actually pretty big. This is actually a pretty good sized town they got here. Pretty good size. Okay, let's throw the heavy stuff in here. The rope is not that heavy. The coal I don't need to have on me actually. Biofuel I'll always take. That I'll always take. Feathers I don't really need any more of at the moment. That I don't need. Cloth I will need. Uh, I'll take the rope. I don't really need the ropes though. I'll eat the cucumber. I'll eat the... Uh, oops, I was, I was actually going to eat that. I'll eat that. Good lord. 
<laughs> that one went right into a tree. Good lord, my other arrows just like... My other arrows went forever? Good lord, how far can the arrows go? Do they just fly forever right now? I mean, there, I know there's no arrow drop, but that's that's nuts. That's pretty nutty. <laughs> that is pretty crazy that they fly like that far. I'll take the egg, why not? Take the Kevlar in the can, sure. The oil and the feathers, I guess I'll take some feathers too. Don't see any tech pages down here. Take some spoiled food. I you know, I have no idea, Justin. It just it shoot it shoots forever. Do not need the bark. Um, I'll eat the baked potato. Take the cucumber. And the tater. And the big old ribs. And some crispy bacon. Let's see upstairs if there's any tech pages up here. Nope. I don't need the animal fat. I'll eat the watermelon slice. Don't see any more tech pages up here, but that doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure we don't have another tech page in town. I think that's a pig back over there. Flipped car. I've not seen a flipped car before. That's kind of cool. All right. Is there anything I could just dump off right now? I can dump those. I can dump the tallow. Dump the animal fat. Yep. There's another tech page. Nice. We got we got two tech pages in this town. That is sweet. Okay. Let's go. Let's go grab our mini bike. Dump some stuff in it. That is a raccoon. That is a nasty little raccoon. They like to steal stuff. Hey! Hey! Hey, you just you just chill out there, bud. They like to steal stuff from you. Did I search this house yet? I don't know if I did. No, I don't think I don't think I did. They taste like chicken too, what raccoons do? They taste like chicken? I wouldn't doubt it. it let's just say it wouldn't surprise me if they taste like chicken. Because everything everything tastes like chicken. Let's just be honest, everything tastes like it. Oh, they steal chickens. Well, you know what? That's probably why they taste like chicken. Because if you steal enough chickens, you'll probably... You are what you eat, you know? So you probably start tasting like them. I guess we can check upstairs and make sure there's no more... Because I, I don't think I checked upstairs here. There, make sure there's no tech page up here. All right, let's see. What can we eat here? Let's eat that. Eat that. Take that. Get rid of those. Oh, is there another? There's another floor to this place? Wow, this is the, the, one of the first three-story ones I've, ever, I've really ever gone into. Usually, these things, these things max out at two stories. That's pretty cool. They got three-story now. 
The two-story with an attic. That's pretty nifty. I like that. That adds a little to the game. Alright, let's add that, that, that into there. Put that into there along with the coal. Um, let's put the glass in there too. The clay in there. And now I have an extra tech point I can spend on whatever I want. And I don't even I don't even know what I'm gonna spend it on, really. It comes right down to it. I was making sure I'm not missing anything good in here. Z oil can. I can always use those. A little more glass I can use. Baked potato I can use. The seeds. I'm kind of done with seeds. I got I got so many seeds now. I don't really need them anymore. Bandages I'm kind of good on as well. But it, it never hurts to have two. You can never have too many bandages, I suppose. Ropes I'm actually doing really good on, too. Let's see, there's the electronic parts. Those are always needed. God, I have so many health packs. And those things are heavy, too. Yeah, that's 17 weight. That's that's a whole bunch of weight just on health packs. I should probably leave a bunch of those back at home. Because they're just, they're just weighing me down at this point. There we go. That's one weight. That's two weight. There we go. Yeah, the tech the tech page the tech pages are are the the tech pages allow you to basically pick on the technology tree. They give you a tech point. For every tech point you get, you can learn a new tech. So I think I'm actually going to take the stove. Do I want that or do I want oil extractor? Oil extractor, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get the oil extractor first. There we go. So now now we can actually make the Now we can actually make the oil the the oil extractor and we can also make the oil pump. Now the oil extractor that takes power and the oil pump takes power as well. They also take a lot of mechanical parts, electrical parts, and a lot of screws, steel ingots, aluminum and mechanical parts for that as well. So that's going to be that's going to sort of be our next thing that we're going to have to like do let's uh let's mark this real quick there we go that's going to sort of be the next things that we need to work on is not only getting those taken care of and making them but also building more power supply for them to be powered by which may may include us needing to like figure out where the trader is See, i don't think i've been over here yet Excuse me, tree. Don't get in my way, Mr. Tree. So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh we're gonna have to do some more exploring. Hey, there's a fox. Foxy fox. Don't get to see those in long dark. In long dark they go, no! No foxes! No foxes at all. And I think, let's see. Yeah, the infected right now is on sale for like 10 bucks. 10, 1071. It's 33% uh, off right now on the winter Steam sale. So pretty much all pretty much all the games are doing are, are like really super cheap right now. My back's doing a lot better, uh, Cindy. It's doing a lot better. My mom got me this wonderful like big like huge heating pad for christmas oh it's so nice it's so nice thank you for the posture check by the way too yeah my mom got me a huge heating heating blanket for christmas time so that was very that was very nice of her very nice and it made me happy Excuse me. Ooh. Got a little yawny there. Hopefully we got enough gas in this thing to get us all the way home. 
We'll see. Sometimes, sometimes it'll just run out of gas on you. No matter what. Yeah, I haven't found the truck yet. That, that's the one, that's the one thing I have not found yet. I haven't been everywhere either. We do, we do have the, uh, we do have this up here by the, the swamp where the alligators are. Although there's not much use for the alligators anymore, so... Boo. The alligators were cool when we needed to get the, the al alligator backpack upgrade, but now that we have the alligator backpack upgrade, we don't really need the alligators anymore. I needed a piece of meat. Because I need to make one more, uh, I need to make something with the liver. Spun us around. Oh, then. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What are you? What are you? What are you doing, Mike? What are you? What are you doing? You weirdo. Oh, it's out of gas. I've noticed that the ATV will kind of go until you're out of gas. There we go. It's like it'll, it'll, it'll run until it's like completely out of gas. Even, even if you run out of gas and it doesn't technically have gas in it, it'll keep running until you like stop and get off the, get off of it. And then once you get back on it, it's like, oh no, 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 I, I needed gas. I need gas. Excuse me, sir. I need, I need some gas. And then you're like, ah, crap, man. Seriously? There we go. And then let's split that in half and half again. Move all those into there. He's watching the garden in the rain. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what that's what he's doing. He's he's watching the garden while it rains. He's like, oh look, it's raining. I don't have to work as hard now. Cause that's what he does. Let's go ahead and make a little bit of biofuel. There we go. see what we got here so i'm gonna eat that we got taters i got some eggs let's throw the eggs in here uh let's get that out eat a cucumber move that in there move those in there actually yeah let's, let's just grab let's just grab all the taters that we can we got three cucumbers three taters we got a piece of cooked bacon, which I'll eat. There's three taters. I'll throw that tater in there, too. Now I need three corn and three onions. Wow, look at all the milk and stuff we're getting. And we have no food in there now. Again, no food. Those guys are eating me out of house and home. I swear to God. I hope they give Mike a function at some point where you can actually have him tend to your... So you can actually have him tend to your animals or something. You'll be like, no, 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 Mike. I want you to tend to my all my stuff.
Okay, so there's three of those. And I'm going to need a bottle of milk. Seven, five. Yeah, let's grab a bottle of milk. Two eggs. And then I need three onions as well. And then I will need a melon. I don't think I have enough room for a melon, though, no. Wow, look at all that. Look at all that wasted... Oh, wow, that's nice. I actually like that, though. I actually like that. That gives me a lot of... Uh, that'll give me a lot of biofuel. It's a lot of wasted food, but it's a lot of biofuel as well. How were the festivities yesterday? It was great, Othan. It was really, it was really, really super nice. Had a great time with the fam. Um, let's see. So, to make that, I need to have those two items. Let's see. What do I need to make the, uh, stew, the stew stuff? Hold on a second. I always forget. I gotta have the raw meat, the liver, the milk, and the veggie mix. Okay. So, it's that, 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 and that. There we go. And I got the two eggs. I need three mushrooms. Split that in half. Take the three there. Oops. Take the three there. I already have the eggs. I need a melon as well. I'll make a couple of veggie mixes here too. There we go. Let's go grab a melon real quick. Let's go grab our melons. 45 minutes there. There we go. Wow, that's a that is a we got a lot of milk coming up. Oh wow, we have another chick as well. We have another we have another chick. So we have one male and we have a bunch of females. Okay, I, I'm down with it. That's that's cool. He's like he's like the he's like the he's like the king of the roost. He's like, yeah, baby. Yeah, you gotta drag these over individually. I don't know why. There we go. There's another ration. Put that in there. Get our salads put away. We got four rations now, so that's that is fantastic. See, and now we could actually. Oh, jeez, Louise! Woo, Bleak John with the 45 months scaring the crap out of me there. Woo hoo! Thank you, Bleak John, for the 45 months. Thank you for that 45 month resub there, buddy. So I now have the ability to make the Bleak oil John extractor. Just subscribed for 45 months. A tape air high, a tape air high. Which I can just put right there. That needs 20 screws, 20 of six steel, 15 aluminum, and six mechanical parts. And I can also make the. I can also make the oil pump too so the oil pump can, we can put out here and that needs lots of mechanical electrical iron 50 iron and 20 steel so yeah the, we have a lot we have a lot of things that need to be built a lot of stuff that needs to be built and we still, we're still, we're still slowly but surely churning out. Churning out cement. Not, not very quickly, unfortunately. But, you know, hey, what can you do? We're slowly but surely getting cement put out here into the world. This is going to weigh us down a lot. Oops, nope.
Yep, I knew that was going to weigh us down. The clay soil is not very heavy, but the cement is. <laughs> or the uh, the clay is. The clay soil is pretty light. But the clay, the clay itself is pretty heavy. There we go. So we'll put the tin in there. Now we got a whole box of clay. And a whole box of sand. And then we got our cement mixer right here just doing its thing. And then I do need to get my get my spear sharpened back up because my spear is in bad shape. So we gotta sharpen that up before we forget about it. Yeah, look how look how much we had to repair that. Jeez Louise. Just keep this sucker going. Uh, let's just get rid of the fragments in there. We got 104 iron fragments in there. I don't know what the max on that thing is. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. <laughs> Eggs and stuff. There we go. Eggs and stuff. That's good enough. We got lots of eggs in there too. So definitely have lots of eggs and stuff in this in this container. All right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up here uh, because I think we've done everything that we want to do. I do need to get that stuff out of there, though. So let's get let's get our let's get our materials out. We are slowly but surely building up some Kevlar mechanical and electrical parts. I do have quite a few mechanical electrical parts now, which is nice. Let's get that out of there. Let's go that there. We can put that in there. Oh, nope. I want to put the dry clay up here. We do have another steel alloy available to us. So that's kind of nice as well. Let's get all of our stuff arranged before we head out for the day. Okay, we got a bunch of lead and another iron ore. So the lead I can just put up here. At least that lead when we go when we go to make more batteries, we'll have lots of good lead to use. Cuz to make cuz actually it would probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get more battery storage. It's like right now with the sundown, we're having a negative power, but during the day it would probably be good to have like another lead battery up here or two. Because then we could then we could be like storing more we could be storing more power than we are right now. And that takes five lead, four aluminum, copper, and electrical parts. There we go. So we can get those building as well. And then we do need to up our power grid a little bit. I mean... We're getting enough power during the day that the nighttime power is not really hurting us that much as far as, like, the drain that we have going on. But to have the concrete going all the time, that's when it really, yeah, see, now it's like negative 70. So that's, that's when it really starts to hit us hard. It's when we have that nighttime power drain happening. Let's drink one last time, get our water refilled, sleep, and when we get up in the morning, we'll call it, we'll call it a day on day 42. And we've explored a lot of the, we've explored quite a bit. We still got, we still got a couple on the northern side here. I think I actually have explored that, but I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not too sure about these here. I know, I know I explored... I know I explored this, but 
I'm not sure if I did that, 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 or that. We still have... We still have one, two, three, four, five, six more pages to gather. And we haven't even started... We haven't even started dealing with the trader yet. We haven't found the trader or nothing yet. And there's certain things we can only get from the trader. It looks like our head piece is not working any longer, so... I don't know what we can do about that. Or if it even... Does it even... Does it break down? Looks like our leg armor is getting bad, too. Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure... I, I'm not sure if our... I'm not sure what we can do with this hat. Is there anything we can do with it? It says it has zero durability, but... I don't know. Yeah, it's not giving me any heat advantage anymore when I put it on. Yeah, all my stuff is kind of wearing down, unfortunately. So I guess we I guess we have to make a new hat. <laughs> Br Br uh, uh, Brina, how you doing? How's it going? I guess we have to make I guess we have to make a new hat. So I'm not really sure. That's the only hat we could make the. Uh, we could make the this hat here. We need three cloth, six Kevlar, and a copper ingot. There's the cloth. There's the Kevlar. Is that just made at a... I don't know if that's made at the... That's crafted at a workbench. Okay. Six, six Kevlar, three cloth, and a copper ingot. I don't know what you do with the old hat. You just throw it away. <laughs> Just, just, I mean, there's no, there's no way to destroy it that I can see. Oh, there we go. We can just destroy it. Okay, perfect. Like, what can we do with that to get rid of it? It just, it just sits there. It haunts my dreams, I tell you. It haunts my dreams. It makes me sad. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Holy crud! That's a lot of that's a lot of biofuel we can make now. I actually want the heat one because we are almost in winter time. Yeah, it's fall right now. We sort we sort of need the heat one uh, to keep us going. That combined all those. So yeah, now now that we have Mike doing our uh, doing our harvesting of stuff. I mean, he's keeping these, he's keeping these things very, 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 very full. To the point where we don't have, we, we can't even consume the stuff in them fast enough before it just, it just all goes bad. It's like Mike is Mike is just like harvesting so many plants. I mean, we do have a nice greenhouse going, so our greenhouse is really our greenhouse is like stepping up. And that's actually going to help us during the winter time too because we'll never run out of veggies during the winter. All right, let's throw those in there. We have 30 biofuels now. So, yeah, I can keep the uh I can keep this going. What happens if I don't just extract stone from it? Will it also extract iron as well, possibly? I guess I don't need it to extract stone anymore. So that's kind of nice. I think it will extract iron too, so... Uh, 
All right. So yeah, we have some work to do. It looks like our shield is losing durability as well, which, you know, I, there's not much you can do about that. We're going we're gonna to have to keep an eye on that because our shield is something we definitely need when we go and explore new areas. We definitely need the shield to... Yeah, it looks like we have positive power coming in on the week, on the dailies. So on the day... During the day, we have power coming in, uh, even with our two things running. And having that battery bank lets us do power all night long because, see, the power is still going up, even with all of our stuff running right now. So that's good. And it looks like the solar power is actually increasing as the day goes day goes by. So that's good. All right. So let's get a save point right there. Ba bam. Hey, Mike. Nice, nice stones. Nice stones you got there, buddy. And we will return and play some Infected next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Tomorrow we will be playing some Icarus. We'll be starting a brand new character starting them all over again and seeing what we can do with them. Icarus has changed a lot since I played it last, so it'll be kind of fun and exciting to do. But that's all we're playing tomorrow. We're going to be playing that for about four hours uh, before I uh, head out. And um, then on Thursday, we'll be back with Long Dark um, back here on YouTube and on Twitch, as well as some Wild West uh, Seven Days to Die on Thursday. And then we'll have Long Dark and Dice and Program Friday, Long Dark and Medieval Dynasty on Saturday, and Long Dark followed by some Escape the Pacific on Sunday. So, hope to see you all then, boys and girls. Let's go find somebody amazing. I'm going to stop the YouTube stream there. Bye, everybody on YouTube. Thanks for coming by for Long Dark as well as for The Infected. And now...